Okay, guys, we're live at five, and we're coming at you hot on this Friday night. It's been an amazing week for this beautiful franchise. It's gotten a lot more hype, probably a lot of goodwill. I know that some people are not happy with everything about what's been going on. We'll break everything down as we go through and do our thing. But we're going to go and dive in to the Commonwealth. We're going to the Wasteland, guys. That's right. We're playing Fallout 4. Like, all the rules, like normal, around the channel. Be respectful. Join into the chat at any time. You got questions, I'll do my best to answer. If not, I'm sure one of our many smart, intelligent people will let you know what's going on in the chat as well. If you've watched the new Fallout TV show, we'll talk about that. We'll do our best not to get any spoilers, but if you haven't seen it, it is still worth watching. You don't need to know anything about the video games to enjoy it. It's a great standalone piece for people who haven't played the game, but if you wanna start diving into the games, we'll talk about where we should start, what games we should do, but right now, we're going back to the Commonwealth. Yes, I do have some crazy mods on because you know why? The mod guys on this game are amazing. But right now, let's watch this opening scene in pure silence. My great great grandfather, serving in the army, wondered when he'd get to go home to his wife and the son he'd never seen. He got his wish when the U.S. ended World War II by dropping atomic bombs on Hiroshima and Nagasaki. The world awaited Armageddon. Instead, something miraculous happened. We began to use atomic energy not as a weapon, but as a nearly limitless source of power. People enjoyed luxuries once thought the realm of science fiction. Domestic robots, fusion-powered cars, portable computers. Then, in the 21st century, people awoke from the American dream. Years of consumption led to shortages of every major resource. The entire world unraveled. Peace became a distant memory. It is now the year 2077. We stand on the brink of total war. And I am afraid. For myself. For my wife. For my infant son. Because if my time in the army taught me one thing. It's that war. Never changes. Ho, 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 ho. I tell you right now, if that doesn't get some kind of thoughts going of what could happen, I don't know what, man. So Ooh, these are our characters. You're gonna knock them yes, we are doing something a little bit different because it's a special occasion because of the new TV show yeah, dropping and it's followed. Right. We want to talk about it. We want to get to the juices of it. And we've done a lot of South Park. We've been killing it and having a blast doing South Park. 
by the way, because one of my save points didn't work, I have to replay Stick of Truth for one achievement. <laughs> so that's, uh, that's fun. Um, but yes, I hope you brought all your snacks and all your goodies. We're gonna, uh, uh, you know what? It doesn't matter what we look like, to be honest, but I am gonna change the hair just a tad bit. Nope, where's the hair? There it is. Let's change up some hairstyles. Go with something a little bit more hey, my style. Did you get a haircut yesterday? I did. That's my Cute. lovely wife, as you can see. And I got a robot walking around in the background. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. This ginger. Hmm, this new haircut's really working. Did you see the show? Oh... I stayed up all, all night watching it because I just, I wanted the TV show to, whoops, let's go, that, where, can I get a beard here, people? Yeah, let's get some facial hair here, let's go, let's do this, get the gentleman, oh, little mustachio. Not rocking that right now. The gunslinger. The dashing rogue. All right. So you don't have to feel bad if you haven't watched the show yet. We could talk about it. Let's go Lone Wanderer. Cause that's what I feel like I'm looking right about now. Except for this guy looks a lot tired. Like Thanks. Oh, well, thank you. Uh, let's go body. Oh, mama's got some curves. Uh, I like to go right about Mia. That always feels good. Do it however you want. Set up your character to feel and look like you. You can switch in between. By if you want to go to sex, yes, please. You just click on it. My turn, big guy. Oh. oh. Then you just switch over if you want to play as a female or whatever you want to play as. Let me just slide. Just let me slide on in. Anyways, that's good enough. Most of the time, I'm not going to be looking at my own face. So I'll take that. I've spent a lot more time. You can really get into the details and actually break down how you look like. Whew. All right. So this must be our house. We've got a kid's room. My place. Laundry room? Nice. What's up, robot? Good morning, sir. Your coffee, 173.5 degrees Fahrenheit. Uh, what do we got here? Grognak the Barbarian in the Jungle of the Bat Babies. All right. My favorite. Now, <clears throat> in the TV show, they were showing this book. The comic was on the TV. Who's, uh, who's leaving some stickers around, eh? Now, who left those here? Hmm. More of the same. Ah, oh, sound like someone made a sticky. I shall attend to young Shaw. Thank you. You know, I was nervous at first, but Codsworth's really good with Sean. Can't believe it's almost Halloween. I can't. I need to finish making Sean's costume. Whoa, whoa. Next week for Halloween. Interesting. So we know the year is 2077. Enjoy your coffee, sir. Oh. Do I have to, like, get my coffee or something? Like, what's the deal here? Probably that salesman. Oh. Every day. All right. Look. Good morning. <sighs> you really have no choice to talk to this guy. Uh, well, take, uh let's be polite-ish. Good morning. Isn't it? Just look at that sky out there. 
You can't begin to know how happy I am to finally speak with you. I've been trying for days. It's a matter of utmost urgency. I utmost. Should... It's utmost. Um. Why so urgent? What's so important? Why nothing less than your entire future. If you haven't noticed, sir, this country has gone to heck in a handbasket. Sir, you need to relax with that language. The big kaboom is... It's inevitable, I'm afraid. And coming... The great thing about the TV show... you catch my meaning... You don't have to know about the games. They do a good job through that series of explaining what's going on, at least in those vaults. Those vaults in the TV show are in California. We're out in the Boston area. You have been pre-selected for entrance into the local vault. Yeah. Vault 111. 111? I don't... 111. That sounds like a lot of ones. Like a 111? 111? All right. Cool. Sounds good. Awesome. Sounds great. Oh, it is. Believe you me. Now, you're already cleared for entrance in the unforeseen event of... Uh, total... Atomic Annihilation. <laughs> I just need to verify some information. That's all. All right, man. What are we getting at sure. here? Let's speak. Sure. Splendid. Chit chat. Splendid. Let's roll. What do you got on the paper? Uh, uh, let's see. <laughs> all right. So we get to do our name. All right. That's cool. We'll do this real quick. <laughs> I am the rooster. Boom. Now, in like most of these games, you're going to have your strength, perception, endurance, and the rest of it. Each one unlocks later on, which we'll get to, I guess, when we have a chance to open those up. So what I like to do is we got 21 and we got 7 here, so you can usually go 3 across, but I really... I'm, I'm fairly charming. Intelligence is how well we are good with uh, like a three in there. Agility, that's how we can sneak. So depending on what type of play you want to do. Uh, luck, we usually go two. Endurance, I go three. Perception. Oh, yeah. Okay. Intelligence, I'm pretty sure this is lock picking. I want to make sure I can lock pick the out of things. Now, as we level up, we'll get new things, so that's not even a big deal. It's just how you want to start off. If you want to be a big old bruiser, go all strength. Perception's really good. It comes down to eventually you will get them all maxed. Okay? Wonderful. That's the best That's way I can suggest it. All right, buddy. On being for the best um, of luck to you. I hope to see again. you hey, one day if you're money. safe in a vault, That's if we ever have to go there. Right? For you and Sean, no price is too high. <laughs> Good answer. I have my moments. All right. Let Daddy go have a little look. I'll tell you that right now. You heard Codsworth. Go on. Yes, Reese's Pieces Puffs. Ah, oh, that's the cereal, right? Makes the milk all yummy, yummy after. What's this? Wonder what Sean will grow up to be. You're special. All right. What's up, Sean? How you doing, buddy? Two most important men in my life doing. Eh, you know what? He loves that. All right. See the rockets, buddy? We have atomic energy now, so we can do and fly anywhere. Listen, after breakfast, I was thinking we could head to the park for a bit. Weather should hold up. Yeah, we could be like, and do what? <laughs> Sarcasm. They do an amazing job of letting you pick how you want to answer. Like, there's a, a normal answer, a sarcasm answer, like, 
a dick answer. You know what? Yeah, sounds like fun. Yeah. Mo uh, Mom, you should come and see this. It's the one thing I've always wanted to do. What's wrong? I love Cinnamon Toast Crunch. And I love drinking the milk after because it's all cinnamon and sugar. Mm-hmm, good. Yes, followed by flashes, what? blinding flashes, sounds of explosions. We're uh, trying to get confirmation. What? We seem to have lost contact with our affiliate stations. We do, we do have, we do have coming in. That's um, confirmed reports. I repeat, confirmed reports of nuclear. Oh no, we got bombs dropping. Pennsylvania. My God. Oh good, my thi God. good thing you got the we kid. Need to get to the vault. Now. Good thing we talked to that vault guy. Residents of Sanctuary Hills. Now you don't have to panic. Evacuate to Vault 111 immediately. Yes, I have. All right. Apparently, my wife's like, I'm out. Okay, let's run. Come on, guys. Just leave it and go. Come on. You're like, I need to bring my knickknacks. Yeah, about to blow up nuclear bombs, and you're worrying about a knickknack? Damn it, woman. Excuse me. Um, we need my, to get in. my name's on that list, isn't it? Please. Adult male. Adult female. Okay, go ahead. Thank you. Good luck, ma'am. You two God follow me. All. Come on. What's going to happen to all those people outside We're the doing gate? Everything this we way. can. Now keep moving. What? As if I wouldn't know this was being built in my backyard. Like my house is literally right there. Hey, it's my neighbors. Uh, Almost there. We're your wife okay. makes horrible. I love you, both of you. We casserole, you. dude. Oh, oh damn! God. Everybody down. There's a thing where you're supposed to stick your thumb up. Pretty sure that's a lot closer. Can we go down a little bit faster? Oh my god. Oh god. Oh god. Save my baby. See, the people that are surviving didn't go and pick everything up. I just want to put that out there. During one of these nuclear holocaust situations you just don't start grabbing things you just run that's all you got to do we did it we made it we're okay yeah everyone please step off i'm pretty sure i would know if these guys were building this in my backyard we'll get everyone situated in your new home vault 111 a better future <laughs> Underground. So we just... Yes, up the stairs. I can't believe it. If we left a minute later... If we had uh, stopped no, to pick up our things, we would have died. You're safe now. Vault 10 is here for you. Welcome to Vault 11. Please hey guys, how's it going? This way. Welcome this way, good. please. Step over to the table. Yeah, I don't like the cut of your jib, buddy. I don't know what it is. I don't know if it's your face. But you need to change it. Okay. Pick up a suit right over You'll there. You'll need your suits before we can take you further. Good. You would take your knickknack, of course. Uh, thanks. What now? Just follow the doctor here. He'll show you where to go. All right, you three. Follow me. Oh, okay. You look trustworthy. This it's down the hallway home. right there. Oh, you're gonna love it. This is one of our most advanced facilities. Not that the others aren't great, mind you. No smoking. Yeah. It's gone. Our home. Everything we had. Sir. My mother and father down in DC. What is going on? How long do you think we'll be down here? Probably about a month or two. You know. Just a few medical items to get them off the list if they come in. Fashionable as well as comfortable. Prepared for the future, right? So, pretty much like anybody can be a part of the vault stuff. Okay, what's up, Doc? Excuse me. Just step into the chamber. 
Um, she's got the baby. Is the baby got its own chamber or what? Honey. Yes, dear. Could you help me? Okay. Hey, hey. Sh 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 my little guy. Daddy's I'm here. Not going far. I'll Never just fear. Be Daddy's here. There he is. See? Daddy's not going far. All oh. set. Just step inside and put on your vault suit. Okay. So apparently, we just get naked in front of everybody and put vault suits on. So. God will decontaminate and depressurize you before we head deeper in the vault. How far does this vault go down, bud? I feel like we're 200 meters. No, it has got to be further than that. Probably about 200 meters down. Survivor mode this. So, the whole thing about Fallout is the world goes to nuclear war. And every country shoots off their nuclear warheads at each other. And it it's exactly what you think is going to happen. Nothing good. If you've watched the show, the very beginning, they do they show it like this. Where we're in the present time. And uh, it gets... War is horrible. And nuclear war is terrible. This is the one. Whoa, whoa. Why am I waking up? Who's this guy? Who's this shenanigans? I guess they're decompressing us to go further down now. Oh, she's cold. She was in cryo sleep. Guarantee that. Straight up, son. Oh! Are you kidding me? So we're playing the game right off the bat. I'm gonna have my baby jacked, and they just shot my wife. Oh, I all remember your ugly mug. So... A TV show, like I said earlier, we are taking place out in the Boston Commonwealth area. That's where we are. And that's where this game takes place. The TV show takes place in California. <coughs> and it takes place nine years after we come out of the vault here. From what the timeline that I understand from it. Oh, my Lanta. Can you imagine? We're just left out of time. What's going on? Let's open this. Come on! There has to be a release! Come on, come on, come on! Oh, God! This guy's intense. The voice acting in this is pretty fun. So, the Halo series is, uh... Not... Not well taken... And The Last of Us, well, I, I believe Fallout was better than The Last of Us and Halo. Straight up, bar none. I'll find who did this. I'm going to take my wedding ring. And I'll get shot back. My wife's dead. I promise. So. How many years after New Vegas? Um, I would have to check the piece I got. Hang on. Let me have a look to see where or how many years separated it is. All right, so Fallout 3 takes place in 2020, 2277. Fallout New Vegas, which is... An amazing game, and we might tap into that. Is in twenty two eighty one. Fallout Four takes place in twenty two eighty seven, and the new TV show takes place in twenty two ninety six. And we all know that the bombs fell in. That's right, two thousand and seventy seven. 
which is not very far away, and that's why it's so scary. But I don't want to, I don't want to mess up with any other show, so I'm doing my very best not to do spoilers of the show, the best I can. Whoa, I got like jet feet. <coughs> Now, in the game, you pick up everything. That's the rule of the game. That's why I love Fallout. Because you just start collecting. And as we get going, we'll start to see how these things happen. Look at that son of a bitch up there. What's this? That's what I need. In case we gotta get crazy. I'm gonna start pulling up my Michael Keaton here. You wanna get crazy? Let's get crazy. You don't have to take all the junk, but you know, 77. In 2077 is just like Judge Head. <laughs> yeah, yeah, man. It's only 50 years away. It's 50. What, we're 20, it's 53 years away. So 90% of us that are probably watching this live will be alive. Hopefully. Now, they, ha they showed how they use this in the TV show, and it is absolutely fantastic. Uh, protocols, they're going to go through a whole bunch of stuff. And it, that, that's boring. That's boring. You're going to spend 20 years in an underground. I would be okay if they were going to cryo-freeze me. I'd be like, yeah, sweet. Let's go. Put us underground. Put, let us freeze down there. Put a bunch of people down there. Oh, oh, what do we got in here? Look at the size of that cockroach. Giant roaches? What the hell? I want to take all my knickknacks with me. <laughs> oh, you'd be the woman who fell down, and her husband's like, "Can you stop?" So, what's the memo from the overseer? The overseer is like the mayor of the vault, and they get elected by these, so it's all good. So, if we don't start our performance and work, are, apparently is declining. So they're gonna invoke. I'm gonna. Play the tape. What is it? Oh, Red Menace. Oh, sweet. We can take that with us. Eject. Top score. All right. So you can play a video game inside a video game. Like I said, these types of games, you spend more time... Like some people can rush, you can rush through the storyline real quick, but you're not going to get that full experience of what this was like. Like, I don't know what the f happened here, man, but this looks like a boot camp gone wrong. Vault 111. So that means we at least know that there is at least. Oh, 111 volts. Get! Almost got it. Where is everyone? Should I live tonight, since it's Friday? Are you going to go live as well? Later? Right now? I don't know. Damn cockroaches. Now, we can drink some water. Yeah, drinking water took me up. Okay, so you know more about it right there. Well, 
So we got some slim packs here. This guy looks like he's, uh... Is this all that's left? Seen some better days. Alright. Looks like we got a gun now. Some doctor glasses. What else we got? So this is the overseer's terminal. What are you gonna do? What what you doing on your live? Now you've piqued my curiosity. All right, let's look at the instructions of what they got going here. It's designed for a long-term suspension animation on unawaring human subjects. You gotta be kidding me. So this Vault 11 is putting people to sleep. How's it going, Pink Fire? It's great to see you, Gare. I'm doing great. I hope you're having a wonderful Friday, as always. So each one of these vaults has something else going on. Let's find out when they got the all clear. Radiation levels have gone down. Come on. All right, open up the evacuation tunnel. Let's get out of here. Oh, what game? What you playing? You know what? I wish that Fallout 76, which is the multiplayer online game, I would, if it had to have been like Pal World, where you can only, you have your own world and everything is going on, I think people would be happy with that to invite friends in. Um, I feel like that's what the game what we all wanted for Fallout. Like, who doesn't want to be playing this? And then, shit. You and your buddy, like, you and your friends are all frozen inside. What's this? Master lock? What kind of gun's in there? Nice. Coming back later for you. Coming back for you, baby. Look at you. It's a sexy beast. Hmm. Alright, let's get the... F out of here. I just really wish that we had the opportunity to play with friends in more of a control set. Duck Hunt to Super Mario? Oh, man, I love Duck Hunt. Just put the gun right beside the TV. Never miss. Gotcha. Gotcha. Oh, damn! That's a lot more. Uh, gotcha. Uh... <laughs> Damn it! Holy crap. When you start playing other games and you go back to a shooting style game, it gets crazy. Well, the TV show was, I felt, was at least an 8.7 to 8.9. It's not perfect, by all means, but it, it kept to this. I felt like if you had to turn that into a game, the storyline, um, a young woman leaves the vault to go rescue her dad, who's taken out of the vault. There's always a reason to leave the vault. There's always some kind of... Ex oh, good lord. There's always an ex... You know what? What the... Why can't I just smack him? Oh, there it is. There's always an excuse to... Why we're in the vault to start with and why we're exploring out of... Into the... Unknown, if you would... If you want. Is anyone alive? Um, the Did whole... anyone get out? The point of this whole thing is to make sure we... jumpsuits here you're going to want to leave the vault and leaving the vault for the first time is that whoa feeling and it always gets me no matter what 
And in the TV show, they did that moment and they did it well. When she takes the first steps out. All right. So this is our pip boy. This is going to be like our hub. It's going to give us all the good stuff. Um, like I said, I've logged lots of hours on this. I love this game. I played it. I've beaten, beaten it, done it all. I've enjoyed it. I didn't get all the achievements. No, maybe that's something I will do. The pip boys in the game and in the show. So the, the pip boy just tells you what you got going on, what type of weapons we have. You can go to appearance. You can put some glasses on. I got a wedding ring. I could put a new jumper on. Doesn't matter. Our type of aids, aids, food and stuff to fix us. Miscellaneous. We got our junk pile, mods, and ammo. This is data that's going to tell us about our workshops, our quests, and our status of all the normal things, how many things we've done. So when you're going into combat, it'll tell you right down here what you've killed. Sneak attacks, backstabbing, disarmed, grand slam. That's using a baseball bat. How is it going? Yes, Fallout is it at. This is the map. So this is Sanctuary where we're at. And it's 9 a.m. in the morning. And as you can see in the clock, it's 10, 23, 22, 87. So we're in October the 23rd, right before Halloween. In the year 2,287. All right. So this is how big the map is. It's a big old girl. It's a big old. My week has been absolutely hectic. And crazy. But I'm absolutely super proud and happy to be back here with you guys. Yeah. When I'm done up here, man, I'd love to come. I'll swing by and give you a little shout out and say hi. See you playing some Super Mario. This hole right here, I it's uh, where one of the nukes came off. So they blew that nuke up. If you were in any type of major city, it's gone. All right. Let's do this up. We're going to activate this. Take out this. But I have a mod to make mine look like uh, black carbon. <laughs> Why? Because it looks awesome. I didn't want the brown one on me all the time. Look at this. So they had this in the game, but... What they didn't do is let it roll it. So the TV show plays homage in the proper way you're supposed to. It teaches you how to play the game and how to love the show at the same time. Um, I Hopefully they're going to get a season two because they left it well open. And they should get on it. Amazon, you done good, son. I don't, I don't praise a lot of things. There we go. And I won't. A favorite childhood song. Hmm. Favorite childhood song. It would probably be... Like a Mighty Morphin Power Rangers theme song and the X Men's theme song. Or the Power Rangers song. Now, before we leave the vault, we can change our experience, change our name, and all of our special goodies. So that's the. If you're not happy with what you did earlier and you went over it too quick, they give you a chance to finally do it before you exit. For me, I'm just going to do it. How it is, I know how to, I'm not too concerned about how I look. Nobody else is. That's why we don't have a cam up. All right. <laughs> just... All right, let's take this moment in, guys. Let's just take this moment in. This is going to be that moment.
right here. After 200 years, I have returned. So we got radio signals coming in. Dude, that's my house right there. <laughs> that's my house. Dynamite! All right, I got my Clark Clint glasses on so you don't know that I'm a superhero. That jumper is doing amazing things for me. It's really making me look buff. <laughs> All right, so we can check the radio stations. Each radio station is going to have its own thing going. Lovely, beautiful. Diamond City. Great. From uh, Jules Green. I mean, the green. Uh, I mean, the uh, the great green jewel of the Commonwealth. It's so. I don't know about radio. like how bodies dispose and whatnot over time. Um, but I really feel like if it was left out in the open like this, that even just wind would move this stuff around. Like these bodies, I'm pretty sure the bones would be a little bit more decayed. But what do I know? What do I know? So you can go back into the vault if you want. All right. We got Nuka-Cola. All right, I gotta, I gotta turn that radio station on. Can't have that in my ear when I'm playing. At least when I'm talking with people. I used to put it on the background, but then I didn't like it because I could hear monsters coming. Now, we got a specialty box right here, and this is called my Doom Day. I'm a big old rifle. Look at that. We're going to be hunting some big creatures in this game. All that's the good stuff. Take whatever we can from the boxes. Like I said, I want to collect as much as possible. I don't think I have any lock picks. All right. My clock 19 setup options. Normal, level up, list, crafting, cheat. Same as normal, but... Should we cheat or should we play it normal? Like where I got to craft everything or are we just going to give it to me? I will give you guys 10 seconds. The skeleton weighs about six pounds. <laughs> Thank you for that information. Nothing. I know you're there, guys. What do you think? Should we keep it normal, or we're gonna we're gonna cheat through, just so we can have it all there? It's the same as normal, but we also add all the weapons to the player's inventory. All right. <laughs> okay. Whatever. Let's take the long glocks. All right. It's been successfully added. The next page will ask you some questions regarding level list. Okay. When would you like the game to be added? Add it fully to the list. Traders plus five. Oh, okay. So that means... Anybody can pick this up. Oh, okay, okay. So I can give it to my enemies, and my enemies will start using the same guns. It's nice if you're gonna like pick up ammo and stuff off people, or you want to pick up weapons. Um, don't add to any of their lists. I think it should be fair. If I'm gonna use the weapons, everybody else can. All right. The clock line to eleven. Would you like to add the Glock to legendary spawns? <sighs> sure. 
Why not? Yes, I want to craft it. Perfect. Rule breakers. That's us, guys. That's us. So this is for taking all this so that we can... Oh, I'm over encumbered already. So this is what happens when you take a bunch of stuff and you're over encumbered. I thought I put the weight limit mod on, but apparently not. Hang on. I'm giving you guys a little insight. Yes, I'm already cheating. Well, I'm already cheating. I have unlimited weight. What the hell? Yeah. Oh, that's cool. It sounds like all those like theme songs for kids' movies and shows, they always stick with your head. And I don't understand why my unlimited weight. I always I like the unlimited weight so that I can gather stuff more, but whatever. What we'll do is I'll uh when we get to wherever we can I'll unload everything. Then we can start diving into the this wasteless. Now, this game you can spend so much time building bases, doing just story quests. You know, we're going to meet somebody here and he's going to want us to help resettle and fix everything. Because apparently he can't. He can't do it by himself. He needs a, He needs someone that will take action. Which I like about this because we're like, our character is ex-military, but we're also on the hunt to find our kid. Alright. We got some backs. We got some real heart going on. It's not much of a... It's not a theme... Fallout's theme song isn't much of a theme song. It's more of... Um, what's the best way to announce... Uh, to... It's just music. It's a music... But when you hear it... Bum, 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 you know that you're in, Star, like, in Fallout. They do have music for this show... Uh, I loaded the mods earlier, but it is what it is. I'm not going to kick out to fix it. I just won't pick stuff up. All right. So that's caught. I'm going to talk to him, but right now I'm going to go over here first. Yeah, I could. I just want to unload Right here is where we're going to start. This is going to be our first little bit of a base to start us off. The game is really good at the beginning to explain what you're supposed to do. So this is the workshop. Now that we have it, it's going to teach us how to use the workshop, to how to navigate. It says that we can build structures and stuff. We're in build mode. So you can go here. And I can start building my own house. But... Before you got to do that, you got to start cleaning up all this stuff here, right? So. And exit. Now, I can transfer. Weapons don't have. So, let's transfer all. There we go. Ballistic fibers. We want to keep the bobby pins so we can do it. Billy, you like the, you like the show. I thought it was pretty damn good. What video game do I miss playing? Ooh. Um. What? I'm going to get rid of the glasses. What video game do I miss playing? Okay, so there's my new clock. 
military bag. Malakoff will keep that. I... I... Th <sighs> Video games are subjective. For the point is... What video game did you play back in the day when you were playing it? By the way, pre-war money is garbage. Everything is ball of caps. Star Fox was a kick-ass game. I wish they would have done something for, for it when the Nintendo started upgrading as giving us some kind of fighter game. We'll keep water. We'll keep Radex right away. We'll put that in. Rubber. Screws. So, my weight is almost unlimited, but apparently I picked up so much stuff that I couldn't. So, have you ever played The Simpsons Bart's World or whatever it is, where you play as Bart? That game was pretty sick, dude, back in the day on the original Nintendo. Um, I also miss, which I might start, I might play. I loved playing Mario Baseball, Mario Soccer, and Mario Tennis, and Mario Golf. I used to play with my grandfather. I got my grandfather hooked on Mario Golf, guys. So, I'll tell you right now, talking about that just... Yeah. I spent a lot of good times playing Mario Golf with that guy. Rest in peace, brah. All right, we are now, we're cleaned up. We offloaded everything. Now, we can take a lot of time and just, I have, I've spent more time, hours, cleaning this entire area to get it ready for settlement, to resettlement. But guess what? They have mods out and a modder. And if I do use that clean mod, they clean this entire area, they gut everything and clean it all up. So all the garbage and everything here is set up for you so you can build your own base the way you want. That's what's awesome. Uh, but let's continue on, shall we? Let's go talk to Codworth. Um, I can't believe you're still here. It's been like... In like 200 years, buddy. What have you been doing? Here. So other people could still be alive, too. But of course I'm still here. Surely you don't think a little radiation could deter the pride of General Atomics International. <laughs> but you seem the worse for wear. Best not let the wife see you in that state. Hmm? Where is the missus, by the way? Um... They killed her. Let's just be straightforward with this robot because he don't know what's going on. Yeah. I don't know. They killed her. Sir, these things you are saying. These, these Sir, things these things you are saying. I believe you need <laughs> Okay, so there was an arcade game. When I used to go camping, they had like a little store. And it had like laundry room and stuff like that so if you come for a week you could go up to it at one of the big lakes one of these campsites uh he's been kidnapped Sean's been kidnapped but it was x-men versus capcom that was awesome we played so many quarters in that man I think I would be hungry. I got a pretty good appetite if I sleep for 12 hours. Can you imagine? 200 years. 200 years? What? Are you? A bit over 210, actually, sir. Or oh, give and take a little. The Earth's rotation and some minor dings to the old chronometer. <laughs> that means you're uh, two centuries late for dinner. <laughs> Dude. I can whip you up a snack. Are you okay, buddy? Codsworth, you're acting a little bit weird. What's wrong? I... Yeah, I did. I... Oh, sir, it's been just horrible. Two 
through centuries with no one to talk to, no one to serve? I spent okay, so then it would be in the Xbox arcade games. And you can get that when you have Game Pass. That's what I love about Xbox. They got a bunch of those little arcade games. How do you polish rust? Stay with me now, buddy. Stay with me. Come on. Stay with me, pal. Focus. Uh, I'm afraid I don't know anything, sir. The bombs came and all of you left in This guy's hilarious. Way. I thought for certain you and your family were dead. I did find this hollow tape. I, I believe the missus was going to present it to you as a, a surprise. But then... Have you tried looking up for the game, like on an emulator or something? Usually online stuff. Maybe Steam has it. Steam has a bunch. Well, they have tons of games, right? A holotape. A holotape? What's on it? I believe it's a private message for you. My etiquette protocols would not permit me to play it for myself. Any standard holotape reading device should be able to play it back. Oh, like that pip boy on your arm. That should work brilliantly. Now, enough feeling sorry for myself. Shall we search the neighborhood together? The missus and young Sean may turn up yet. Dude. Have you seen anything? I told you my wife's dead and they stole my kid. They're not going to be outside the place where I was. Shall I investigate? Sure, buddy. Lead the way. All right, you do you, buddy. You do you. So this is my house. Apparently, all the stuff has been vaporized, except for... Excellent. That's how classics stay around, guys. So what does this do? It's going to bring up our crit chance, our crit hitting with unarmed melee, doing a permanently doing 5% to damage. Perfect. Let's go have a look. Take a fuel for the boy. Now, he's out killing bugs and stuff. It feels like just yesterday. I was sitting in this room with my beautiful wife. And she was making little comments about how handsome I looked. <clears throat> what do we got down here? You're special. Uh, let's put it into... Um, let's put it in agility. All right, so Sean's cribs here did fairly well. A little bit of warping. All right, let's go see what the where the robot go. Oh, I know what we need to do. We need to snap up. Have you could always, I guess. Let's add this to favorites. There's my Glock 9. Let's add that to here. Where'd this one go? We're going to get rid of that gun and that melee. My special ops gun. In case things need to get crazy. And I'll put my... So that way you can... Whoa, whoa, whoa. Do we have levels? Okay. So here it comes. While you're leveling up, you can add into these points. So the measure is your raw strength of how much you can actually carry your... Melee at damage and all that. You get like a sixth sense, which helps when you're doing VAT. When you go to shoot somebody, it VATs on them. We'll get to that. And we'll show it. They didn't do that in the show, which I wish they had to. I'm going to put one. One in there. Endurance. Endurance is pretty straightforward. It's going to improve our health. How many action points we get while we run. 
We're going to put two in there to bring it up to five. A charisma. This is going to help me with dialogue and prices and stuff like that. It's fairly simple. Straightforward, these types of games. Uh, your intelligence measures, well, your intelligence. And it affects the number of experience we can earn. We're going to add one more into that. Agility, this is for sneaking around, being sneaky sneak. But the reason why we want to try to get an even amount along the top is because as you come down in these, these are different, say, this one's invisible, the mysterious stranger, we can't access it because we don't have, it requires luck four. So it means we have to come up here and have four in luck. 10 luck, all the way down here at the bottom is ricochet. When it goes around, comes around. Your enemies range attacks will sometimes ricochet back and instantly kill them. The closer you are to death, the higher the chance. And it'll upgrade three stars. So there are a lot of amazing things while we walk around here. If we want to have companions or if we want to walk by ourselves. Who needs friends? This will give us each thing's great. I like having sneak and lock picking and hacking. Those are my my two right off my two big boops right off the bat. And scoundrel. This will help us pick up all this stuff that we're gonna find around. The higher this is, the more caps. So if you're gonna get a say fifty caps in a in a box, wherever first star you're going to get 56 or 60 the next star you're going to get 70 then 80 then 100 so it like starts to multiply what you will find it becomes very useful when you're out there wandering and you got to start shooting people and finding things fortune finder that's the bottle cap one as i was just saying so we have one more to pick from i should learn how to hack or something, shouldn't I? Scrapper? Where are you? Gun nut? So all those Glock stuff that they were showing us, you have to have and you want to up, you could start upgrading and working in a in your base and you can start upgrading your own weapons and getting better mods for the guns that are 100 percent part of the game not like add-on mods mods meaning like you put a silencer or a different longer barrel but you got to upgrade that i want the rifleman because i got two rifles on me commando is where is it seriously Oh, the lockpick is right here. So this will give us a better chance to do locksmithing. Just like in Starfield, I know you guys watch the videos for Starfield. This, for the love of God, is one of the most important ones and hacker. It means you can break into any computer and any door as you go. As you level this up, you won't even break your bobby pins anymore so bobby pins are a must have so i'm going to put one in there we'll forget luck right now as we level up we'll start worrying about things now we're going to get out of that jumpsuit and we're going to put our our armor on our clothes this seems about right see how thick that lead is that'll help keep the radiation down Where's my clock? And then I pulled out my nine? Oh, come on. I said pull out my nine. What is going on here? Dear game. Whatever. Check the mailboxes. You never know. So this. Oh, wait. 
get to actually find somebody. Codworth, where are you? Where'd that stupid robot go? All right, let's let's go in here. Check this. Nothing in the mailbox. Did you get everything, Codsworth? Sir. Yeah, buddy. Family isn't here either. No. Don't start crying. You'll rust. Hey, You're like the Tin Man. Sean's out somewhere. Codsworth. He's out there somewhere. To find him. What about Concord, sir? Plenty of people there. And last I checked, they only pummeled me with sticks a few times before I had to run back home. All right. Thanks Looks like we're going to be going on. You'll find young Sean. I know you will. I shall remain. Yeah. They're like, by the way, it's been 200 years and you left your gas on. <laughs> the gas company, water company, those guys, they'll find you. They know what's up. So Codsworth came around and started shooting all the bugs, which is no big deal. He feels bad because, you know, he's been trying to... Whoa, 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 what do we got here? Oh, hey -oh. What do we have here? We got a safe. All right. You're going to see how to pick lock. They're going to tell you how to man MacGyver this. And it's all about the feel. It's, it's all about the feel. No, too, no, 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 no. It's all about the feel. Oh, yes. Yes. Felt right, guys. It felt right. I'm not even mad, really. All right. Now, this town... Like I said, you can go breaking through. You can gut this entire town by going through, cleaning it all up, breaking it all down by turning into... I was going to say turning into... Um, prepping the city. But right now, I want to progress a little bit with the storyline and get a move on. Codworth says that the people at the next town might have some ideas for us. So let's uh let's go see. As you can see the map on the bottom. This is our little town map. Sanctuary house. Two frags? You Tell you right now, man. There's no way I'd be living here driving over the wood bridge like that every day. No way. Uh-uh. Alright, guys. One second. I just need... Don't you go anywhere. I just gotta use the washroom for a second. Be right back.
All right. Like I said, easy peasy. Everybody does it. Nobody can get upset. Everybody goes to the washer. Especially when you're playing video games. All right. Little drifter outfit. Now, I always feel bad. Oh, I used to. <laughs> I always felt bad, like, just walking up and taking stuff off people. <laughs> but. You got it, man. This is a wasteland. Rules are different. All right? We're not in the modern world. We're in a dog-eat-dog -dog world. Meaning, you got to do what you got to do to survive. Now. We don't have to be complete jackals. We can treat people with somewhat respect. Let them know who's who. And we'll teach them what our authority is. Look at this car. This looks fun. That room back there, that's where the drive-ins. Those drop back. What? What the hell was that? Who's hiring? Who said that? Who there? Oh man, it's been a while since I've been home. Oh hey! Hey dog, what's up buddy? Hey boy, what are you doing out here all by yourself? Where's your owners? You lose your owner, buddy. Oh my god, you crush this little doggy. Okay then, let's stick together. You can be my bud. Face dog meat. Hey. Oh, we gonna do commands, okay. What do you see, buddy? Oh, he found something. All right. Nice. The dog is good. Oh. All right. Well, it looks like we got another workshop. So this is where we can craft some more weapons. So you can come down and start working on. We'll have a look at the Glock. Because we talked about we get standard. If I was back at the home base, I would have all this stuff. And we could start upgrading the pieces here and there. Which is great because, as you can see, we get the harden. Okay, something's going on. No. Just exit. What the hell's... Oh, damn! Suck it! Where's my vat? There it is. Nope. Gotcha. Let's get the body. That's the vat system. Oh, it's jumping in midair, folks! Oh, this dog. Save some for me, man. I felt like John Wick there for a second the way I snapped that over. By the way, if you haven't watched the John Wick movies, you probably should. Now, what was over there? There was a floating eyeball. Hmm. This looks like the cooking station. So this is where we can come cook when you're out on the on the road. Get some purified water. Get some soups. Who doesn't love a good soup? Tell you right now, I love soups. There's a place in, in my hometown where I live. They got soups. They know how to make soups. Pretty damn awesome. Uh, you can modify this. Scrap it. Do whatever you want with it. Rename it. So that's the armory stuff. We should have done all that back at the base. But... Now, by un us unlocking this, we've now unlocked this workshop. 
So if we wanted to break everything down and go into shop mode. And it says scrap. So when we scrap it, it's going to go in to this little red thing. That's going to be our home catcher. So I'm going to scrap it. So you can start building bases all over. Let's get out of this. Guessing this is where I can put my power armor so I can work on it. It looks pretty sexy. I don't have any power armor right now, but we will. You bet your bottom dollar. You know. Take some cigarettes because they've only been around for about 200 years, so it's probably good, right? Everybody knows that tobacco holds its, itself really well over time. What do we got here? All right, about twenty bu twenty dollar coins. Actually, those pop cabs. So, what does the terminal say? Business entry. Okay. Let's click out of that. Back up. Let's go spin around and let's go. We're always hunting. So what I'm giving you, like, you can go around and you can, like, just, you can have fun. This game, like, there's the chemistry thing if you want to make different chems. You can go around, scrap this whole thing, build walls, get turrets set up there. Build a, I've built an entire fort on top of this with one staircase going up to it. Uh, I've had every settlement up and running and connected to each other. Oh, the dog scared the crap out of me. I find that I get more jumpy about the dog than I do about anything else. Alright. This seems like a good idea. Let's just go into this hole. No one would be the wiser. This is a mole den. Actually, we have levels. Let's put... Does this help our sneak? Uh, I thought agility helped with our sneak. It does. And then let's get down to sneaky sneaky. This is what... When you come into these places... Oh, son of a bitch. It's a good shot. Oh, ragdolled. Not today, demon. Really? Look at mole rats, man. Oh, and this is rabies one? Alright. I'm trying to conserve ammo here. And the dog bites it with one. And we got radiation going on. Oh, fusion course. This. So we're going. What's in luck? We're not gonna. Yes, we were. We're gonna. Well, don't worry. We're gonna put him out in in luck, Will. But you gotta get. You gotta get some sneak on if you're gonna be sneaky sneaks. You can't just be walking around being all like nilly willy. What the. That seemed like a horrible idea. Maybe I should stand further back next time. Hey, I wonder if this is a bomb if I put my face in it. Idiot. Ugh. So stupid. Oh. Son of a bitch. Eat shit, Dad! Dirty rat. All right. I don't know about you guys, but I feel like that might have been a little over dramatic. 
and I apologize. I went a little bit over the top, but let's crack this safe while we're waiting. Sometimes you're just that good. John Wick this. Let's go. Let's take the big bull gun out. Alrighty. Now, this is the point of the game where you can go, we can go to our map, and this is what, it, get to the map. So we have to go to this region here, Conqueror. Or we say, no, sir, we ain't going to do what you want. Our kid might be gone, but I've been asleep for 200 years. Maybe I want to stretch my legs out. And we just start walking. We kill everything and everyone, and then we come back. That's how I like to play, because the storyline is going to continue on with that. That's the main story quest, quest line. Now we can play Builders, Bob the Builder. Or we can go exploring the Wasteland. I'm going to leave it up to you guys. I see you guys all in there. Are we going to the storyline? Are we going to go explore this town and see whatever we can find, what we need? Or we should keep on walking around. Just explore. We'll go south. We'll go south till we can't go south no more. What do you guys say? Are we going south or are we going to follow the storyline? I'll let you guys figure that out when I go back up here to... The Up here to the gas station. All right. Looks like we're going one. We got one to south. South Carolina. All right, let's put a marker on the map. We're going south. Gives us an idea of what to walk for. I'm going to put it right here. Let's go find what the crater looks like. We'll see what we find down there. So it looks like some kind of farm on our hub. A straight, straight. Is this south? That's straight south. It's southwest. Oh, there's a couple buildings there. All right. Unlocking places and then going back later, it's always fun. That's what I'm talking about. Exploring this and all the little like hidden gems that the game's developers and writers do for you and for us. Oh, shit. What was that? We got a butt fly. Are you kidding me? fly that big, I should have been able to hit it. The dog is doing a better job one-timing and... Mm. Whoa, 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 whoa. Whoops. What do we got here? This looks like some kind of weird farm. Check this out. Aberdeen Farm, where you be, bud? You Mr. Aberdeen? That's close enough, stranger. Okay. Peaceful farm. We don't mm. I'm friendly. You gotta you wanna trade? It's okay, I'm friendly. Not looking to cause any trouble. If you say so, but be warned, we're armed here. So don't try anything. Let me tell you, farming ain't easy. Out in the field all day. Pimping ain't easy, son. And every minute of it. Pimping ain't easy. Watching your back. 
You talk about farming? I'm talking about pimping. What you growing? What kind Let's of talk. Do you grow here? Mostly taters so far. Taters? On melons. Blake Abernathy. You new to the Commonwealth? Uh, sort of. Yes. And no. It's a long story. Either way, good to see a new face. How about you? Ever think about working the land? Uh. Don't know. Never really thought about it. Hell, neither did I. I was born into it. Word of advice, though. If you do start up a farm, be ready to deal with the raiders. Why do all the hard work when you can just take what you want at gunpoint? All right. Who are the raiders? The name alone says something. You really are new. The name's only the tip of the iceberg. They're well-armed, take what they want, and kill whoever gets in their way. Last time those raiders hit us, my daughter Mary tried to stand up to them. Now she's buried out back of the house. What? Only 21 years old, and they shot her down without a thought. That's why we need the Minutemen back. And the sooner, the better. That's horrible. <laughs> she probably deserved it. <laughs> That's horrible. Love it. What Who are the Minutemen? Don't rightly know. I suppose they just went on to other things. Well, they were probably finished. The most of the opportunity. I don't have much to offer, but those raiders that killed Mary, they took her locket too. It's been in Connie's family for generations. If you could get it back, it'd mean a lot to us. You got more snacks? Dude, what kind of snacks? Now you're making me hungry. I'm kind of like wishing I had snacks. I wish I could chew without it sounding horrible over the mic for you guys. Uh, do you know where they're coming from? Yeah, pretty sure I do. One of them mentioned Olivia while they were here. My guess is they're holed up in that old USAF station. You got, fr like, you got KFC? Or you got, like, a different different type of fried chicken organization by you? All right, so Blake just wants us to go kill a bunch of raiders. This is what I mean. You will just meet somebody, and they'll be like, hey, are you a dick? And you're like, no. And you're like, they're like, cool. By the way, we are attacked. Do you mind going, getting our things? And you're like, all right. Cool. Ah, just awesome. I'd love it. Now, so the app, this farm, that means we can have this as a settlement. But we got to make them allies first. That means we got to do the quest. Who's this? Who's this lady? New here? Well, if yeah. you've got anything worth trading, you can talk to me. All right. What are we selling? Sure. Walmart's got fried chicken? Is it good? Oh, I don't want to buy stuff from her. But I can sell stuff if I needed to. Uh Hey, 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 hey. We could use some help picking melons if you've got some spare time. You want me to pick some melons? Um What? Did you say caps? So bottle caps are the currency now. And because it's money, uh, at least it is here in the Commonwealth. You guys pay for things with bottle caps? What happened to dollars and cents? That old stuff? Not too useful these days. Unless you're looking to stock up your outhouse. So you guys use pre-war money to wipe your butt? What are you paying? Three caps per melon. Not a bad deal, if you ask me. Three bucks? Now, this is how we get a little bit sneaky. We haven't upgraded anything with our talking and stuff, but we will be for events like this. See how it's yellow? Yellow means that something special can happen. Let's see. Make it five. Deal? Deal. But let's Done. Let's between the two of us. The last thing I want is another lecture from my mom. Last thing I want to hear about is you're paying me to play with your ma Never mind. Oh, sorry, dog. I was trying to do my flashlight. Nope. Hang on. There it is. There it is. So now your flashlight is actually on your arm. It's your pip boy. All right, so I just go around harvesting some melons for them. Five bucks? 
That's 15. Another 15. Not too shabby. I was surprised when she was like, I'm like, I've been frozen for 200 years. And you're just like, right off the, right off the bat. You're just like, hey. If I had to guess, do you want to play with my melons? And I'll pay you. At least that's the direction they headed when they left. All right. I will go look for... So, this is what he's talking about. This is where they are. Because it's been now... That's northeast. So he wants us to go all the way up to this satellite dish and get his necklace back. Then we can have this place as a part of our base setups, which is fine. But like I said, we are heading south. I can collect stuff. Hey, hey buddy. Have a little nap. Never forget. Oh, yo. Who's been sitting out here smoking? Dirty girl. Hiding out here. Alright, let's go show her the melons we got. Hey. Hey, Lucy. Lucy. Miss Abernathy. Here to collect the caps for the melons you gathered? Sell the melons. Yeah, here you go. Great. Thanks for your help. I hope I hope you do well. Yeah, 45 bucks. Hot damn. All right. What is this right here? As long as we're well, that's more westish. Let's check it out anyways. Got to stay stealth. Turn off the light. This is wicked shipping. Alright, we got two more level up, so let's go. Pickpocking. Get better deals. I'm gonna be a lady killer. You're charming, dangerous. Women suffer 5% more damage in combat and are easy. Alright. Don't mind if I do. What animals are friends? The local leader. I do have it, but I don't I eat I eat before and then I have snacks for after like food after. I hate I would hate it if I you just all you hear is um, um, um. Oh, anyways, guys. Nom, nom. I'm pretty sure you guys be like, I can't listen to you anymore. I don't know what you were thinking when you did this, but you're horrible, bruh. Let's get lead belly helps us with uh, radiation when we eat and drink. So, so is a good one to have. Where's my fat one? Yeah, there it is. Let's get fat awareness. Now, do you guys have like Mary Brown's chicken down there? Do you guys got like Popeyes? Like, what's outside of like a mom and pop? Oh, son of a bitch. What's here? Oh, it's this robot. Okay, can we un-terminal this? Let's try this out. Terminals. Now, hacking is, when you come in to do the hacking, you're looking for the words. So it's going to tell us, we got to choose password, and you get so many times. So we're going to try root. Under this is entry denied, likeness one. So we know there, that's a UR, nope. Okay, still, still thinking it's R. I don't think it's R at all. Two. Ooh. Well, it's not core. Mm. 
root had one, so it's got to be E. And home has two. So what I usually do is back out, because you only get three times, four times. If you mess up four times, it uh, resets. Or it shuts down and you can't get it. So let's have another try at, let's try golf. Two. Huh. Hold. Sweet. Nailed it! Mm. So I went with the OL, thinking that would be the best combination. So now you can go in, and we can program this. We can set it to its current mode. Let's bring it to law enforcement. Now that we're setting the parameters on this, we can activate the unit. That's what's so great about diving into this section. All right. Powering up. Protectron on duty. All right, Protectron, do your thing, brah. Attention. Interfering with a law enforcement robot is a felony. All right. Won't be able to pick this. Won't be able to pick that. It's too hard. Let's get my light back. Oh! Whoa! Oh! Good lord! All right. Good sweet Jesus. Couldn't aim to save my life. I gotta be kidding me, man. This is embarrassing. Even with the VAT system? Stinky song bees. By the way, we might see a bunch of like really weird, creepy things while we're running around here. Like you just might see dead people holding hands, skulls and toilets. It's messed up. Need to make some chems. I could really go for like a big crunch sandwich there's a place local to me they make a sweet ramen place I think it's like a Korean place they're amazing um and they have a wicked Korean spicy Korean with like slaw on it and the bur oh my it's making my mouth water right now just thinking about it I could really Look at this little son of a bitch trying to get out. I am not strong enough. I'm not really a fan. I thought. I thought. Damn. All right. Keep your eyes peeled. So the whole story about this is we got to go from point A to point B. I guess we could. I guess we should. Because we want to go save our son. But the minute we start doing that, we're going to get... Nice barn you got here, man. See what I mean? Chick shot herself. Or whomever. Usually I would have spent all this time just gutting all this, but we're not gutting. All I can think about is 
fried chicken. Damn it. Ugh. I don't know where this guy was going. He's like, I got $47 and a plane ticket to shut the hell up, son. That's where I'm going. And you can't stop me. What's in here? So this guy looks like a settler, so that means like he hasn't been ghoulished. And we're just going to take all of his stuff off of him. You know why? Just let it happen. At this point in your life, what are you really fighting for? Right? Like they were going to ask us, you could be a hero. You could save the Commonwealth. You know what? Yeah, I don't think so. I'm going to shoot people. If you guys touch me or come near me, I'm going to shoot you. No, man, we want you to be a good... No. No, I don't want to be a good guy. What do I... Was, like, what do I have to set forth the properness of the entire... Well, wouldn't you do that? If you woke up 200 years in the future after watching your wife die... Perfect. Oh, nice magazine. Got the shipping container. I'm gonna t guess they're gonna be like, eh, we went shipping. I don't care. I don't care enough to read everything every single time. What the? What is it? Son of a bitch. Oh. Thanks, dog. This dog's tweaking me out, man. Big Hunter. Ooh, legendary slowdown. Always get the oil cans. Breaks up nicely. What do we got here? Wicked business. Got a gun. Well, you tried, man. That's all anybody can ask for nowadays. By the way, guys, you know smoking kills, right? Just want to let you guys know. Smoking kills. Don't do drugs. Stay in school. Unless you don't want to do that, then you know what? You do whatever you want. <sighs> What's in the container? Bunch of rounds, some frag grenades, frag bombs, short rifle, pistols, and some old school money. It's interesting, the stuff that we packed up. Yeah. All right. Let's continue our march south because so i want to show you the crater hole of where the bomb hit the one we saw trust me we're not going to find our son tonight i guarantee you. i could uh no All right, looks like a body of water. Let's walk around it. Looks like a lot of stuff gets radiated. Nighttime is like absolute bitch to see. I love how just like everything's just left. <gasps> It's a blow fight. Where? What are you looking at, dog? Where are you? That blowfly, I can't shoot that. I can barely shoot anything. But you can't hit a fly from my. I'm not. Where'd it go?
Think I can hit the body? Yeah, it makes a good sound. It's all good. Go west. Like right up here? Is that where you're sending me? Where this little fire is going on? Better not be any... I don't like jump scares, man. You guys should know. Who the hell puts mannequins up? Like that. That's some creepy shit, man. I'll tell you that. I don't know what these guys are about. Putting up naked mannequins. It's got a crap out of me. I'll take this safe, though. Thank you very much. Oh. Oh, oh, oh. Easy. Feel it. No, oh, too much. Back a little bit. No, oh, oh, oh. Back a little bit. Ah! Damn it. What's my favorite food? I love sandwiches. I love a good sandwich. My best friend made me a sandwich. And it was like probably six inches in, in height. It was it was a beast. We had like six different types of meat, three different types of cheeses, all the veg. Mm. We made a yole for it. Sweet. It was delicious. Oh, I miss that son of a bitch. I miss him so much. Mike, I would just keep going west? Like through these bushes? I feel like I haven't been here forever. I see like birds flipping around doing their thing. Um, favorite foods I love. I love Chinese, Japanese, Italian. I love good barbecue. I just, I love food. I could, I could make a whole channel just talking about food. And how to, how to cook it. On a dime. Right behind video games, I'm pretty sure that... Talking about food would be another thing. Like, what people forget. Fire house subs. Where's that? Is that somewhere like local to where you are? Or is that like a, is it a chain thing? Holy good Lord. Scat. Demon hound dogs come and run at me. All right. <gasps> Fuck you, demon. I'm running out. Yeah. It's just a creepy house, dude. It's just a creepy house, hey? Yeah. Wasn't expecting the dogs from like, Resident Evil to come chasing after me. The skin's all boiled back. Ugh, gross. What the... I feel like this is gonna be... Yeah, let's just keep walking. We're walking. What's around this? I'm 
Man, I hate nighttime. Can't see anything. What do we got here? What do we... Cowboy up! <laughs> the thing has shot me right in the face. Shh, shh, shh. Stop being a bitch. Just... Man up, boy. Cowboy up. All right. That demon. Yep. You're probably asking me how I got here. It was about that time. I realized I couldn't shoot the bright side of a barn. Come on. Maybe I should have got a shotgun instead of a can rifle. Strip him down, take all of his stuff. What do we got here, boys? What is this? Wasteland Survivor. This looks like my cousin, my nephew drew this. He's got talent. He could have drawn this easy. You're up, Lyndon. So are the ghouls, are ghouls like zombies? Oh, shit, I know where I am now. All right. We're not taking any chances with this guy sitting there with a stupid mall open. Oh. Dog, I'm going to make you go home if you keep getting under my feet when I'm walking. I'll send you back. I like... I love pizza, too. Like, good pizza. I'm not even mad. I like barbecue, too, man. You gotta go with what you gotta go with, right? Like, I God. I have no problem. I'll eat, like, a quinoa salad, too. I, I like a good quinoa salad. Like a pasta salad. Whoops. A little bit of bourbon for later on those cold nights. You shouldn't die, feral ghouls. Oh. oh, don't even get me started. Get some pulled pork. Again, I also, it comes down to like what, what type, what's the weather like? That's how it really comes down to how I like to eat. If the weather is more on the colder side, I like to eat more of those like comfort foods, things like stick to your bot, like that, you know, it's like the, your stews, your soups, these crazy things like that. Uh, that that K, uh, your mac and cheese is your casseroles, S crazy stuff like that. I'm pretty sure this thing's alive, just in case. <laughs> Suck it, roach. All right. This is a bigger building. What the f is that? Is that a robot? Or is that a... Per 
let's unlock this terminal real quick. Well, you know it has an R in it. Yeah. Like, nobody wants to cook at 10 o'clock at night. So, I have to usually... I usually order something. Let's try... No. Zero. Can I buy a vowel? Nope, it's not going to have a U. It's not going to have an R. No S's. <laughs> That's so dumb. Whoops. You got to be kidding me, brah. You got to be kidding me. The question is, if you could only have one meal, you had a final meal, what are you having? Got it. Nailed it. Put the let's put it on as patrol guard mode. I'll leave the what's up, robot? What are you making at 10 o'clock at night? Are you making some good stuff? I want to know, Will. What are you cooking? After I'm done live, what are you going to... If I was to come over at 10 o'clock at night, what are you feeding me? What's on the pallet? I'll tell you right now, that robot's going to get exterminated if he keeps falling and screaming that in my ear. Dick. All right. We're going to follow this ridge. What do we got here? Got a little raider. That raider just got. You just got red mist, bud. Oh. Ah, I keep pushing the wrong button. Where the hell are you? Oh, there you are. Little son of a bitch. Go ahead. Take a chance. 50 50 chance. Shot in the dark. Shot in the dark. You guys got friends? Take the slim pack. Uh. Alright, let's take it all, I guess. I don't know. I've met some people back in my in, in my time that are like, I know how to cook. And then you're like, alright. Cook me something. What are you going to cook? I'm going to Gordon Ramsay the shit out of this place in a minute. Alright. 
The Lonely Chapel. Oh, look at that! We got the Brahma. Brahmin. See if we can find some, where the is the door. How do you get in here? I want to confess my sins. Really? I walked past it because I'm an idiot. I couldn't see the red door. That's on me, guys. That's on me. Okay. There's nothing like weird or creepy about this. It just looks old. What do we got here? Federal ration stockpile. Let's go see what's in here, guys. Let's go see. Oh, yeah. Okay, I'm going to turn the light off. How about you show your face? Gotcha. That's what happens when you come running out like a gypsy. I don't know what my dog's doing, but he needs to get the back up. Oh, I see you. Gotcha. Oh, oh. I'm pretty sure that sound is a turret gun. What do we got here? Oh, notes. Let's take them all. take. That way we can read them at the safety of our own base. What do we got here? Alright. I'll take that as well. You gotta have those. I'll take a Nuka Cherry. Mm. Oh yeah. Cherry Coke, by the way. I uh, Today. <gasps> Quantum. Mm. We got Red Alert, Mountain Dew Red Alert, and Mountain Dew Voltage. Those are yummy. Yeah. Yeah. Pretty sure those are yummy. So, we've been going for a while. If you guys... I guess we can start. Right now, we're going to get into the TV show, and it might be some spoilers. If you haven't watched the entire show, please let me know down in the comment right now before I continue on talking about this. If you've watched, you can say I've watched up to the first two episodes, and we can talk about the first two episodes. But if you aren't going to say any, and somebody's like, I've watched it all, let's talk, then that's what's going to happen. God. So... We will give it one minute now. In one minute. 
we will be talking about Fallout the TV show, breaking down from episode 1 to episode 8, and how the timestamps went from almost a minute and 20 down to 40 minutes by the end. Uh, what do we got? Nothing. What the? Holy Hannah. Now I'm locked out. Fuck. Oh, 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 it's a turret gun there. Told you, man. Broad side of a barn. All right. Let's see what's going on in here. All right, so you're like me. We I power watched it as well. Um, again, to get it all out, so I knew that there was nothing. But I can go back later at a later date now, next next week or whatever, and just go through each one and really, I hate saying it like that, really nitpick my way through. Go through and like pull it apart. Look for what they're saying, what it lines up to. Lock tight. I feel like. What the hell was that? All right. Episode one. You're sitting back. You're watching episode one. Whoa! Hold up. Uh, I love the VAT system, man. VAT system is the shit. You watched, if you watched episode one. What do you think at the end of the day? Will you just watch the very if the very first episode? What were your thoughts about it? You're watching it. They're explaining what's going on. That You see the, the bombs drop. And you're like, damn. And then they go into it. And everyone's like, kumbaya, my friend. Kumbaya. But there's, you know there's something feels weird. Like to me, right off the bat, I'm watching it. I'm like, all right, all right. They're showing the characters. You're like, all right. Um, the lead in it is a protagonist. Protagonist in this is a woman. Which to me, they're like, it's so brave, and I'm like, no, not really. This it doesn't matter to the story. It makes sense. Gotcha. Like, you could have had it be anybody. Because the story is about the person going out into the wilderness. Oh. To search for their father. So right there, you can have it however you want. To. Oh, they got lots of food here. You can set it up however you like. You can have whomever and whatever you like. When I first saw the Brotherhood, I was like, meh. I really felt was like, I was like, eh. But then again, those are the West Coast Brotherhood compared to the East Coast Brotherhood. Which we're going to be dealing with the East Coast Brotherhood. And they're under a different management. If I may say. If I may. Look at this, guys. It's a fat boy. It shoots off mini nukes. So, whenever that comes in handy. They gave us mini nuclear. They're like, you know what? War is not bad enough. You know what else we need? And they're like, what? Tell me. What do you think we need? 
Can you shoot <laughs> baby nukes at somebody? Yeah, man, we should have that. All right. It's better than a machine or uh, rocket launchers. Rocket launchers are so last year. The Brotherhood stuff, I understand that they wanted to expand the story to get the Brotherhood in there, but they could have easily, easily done it if they had a focus around the girl more and got rid of the Brotherhood 100%. Brought the Brotherhood in and was tracking her down and then have that new guy Spoilers, it sees in episode two when he when his knight passes away and he takes over the armor, had her then you could add him in to like trying to help her or whatnot. Um Got him. They should have made it look more like a side quest. I know that because really you didn't make any. Uh, there's a couple of them that were pretty decent characters. They were pretty funny. Like you, it didn't. Uh, I'm like the worst jumper ever. Good God. I'm not hiding. I fell. You jackass. These guys, man. Can you live down? So I feel like if you had a backed off the Brotherhood stuff, showing a glimpse of it. That's it. Have someone be like, what do you think the Brotherhood is? And then they, the guy's like telling his story and then you get some of that. Maybe in episode, the end of episode two, beginning of three. Sweet. Oh yeah, I'm all in. But the way you made the character for the Brotherhood, you made him, to me, he seemed very weak. I didn't hate him. It's not like I'm like, uh. uh I feel like it was just bad writing. But it felt more like a the side quest. And that type of stuff happens in side quests. Some side quests, you're like, oh, this sucks. Oh! That dude just got ragdolled by the explosion. Still gets back up. That's the Wastelander, man. Don't give up ever. Closer, Tony Danza. We'll try to break this lock. Yes. Oh, man, come back. I was having fun. Oh. Come on out. Where is this guy? <laughs> I forgot. Those are the three guys from earlier. Well, now you're dead and you got no gear. So who's a piece of home and garbage now? Um, the female lead, I did find... The marriage scene was absolutely 
bizarre. Like some that was super ass weird. Um, I know they make a comment as like, oh, I can't believe I fit in that dress, blah, blah, blah. She's like, yeah, don't worry. You don't last in it very long. I'm like, do we, do we need that in the show? And people will be like, oh yeah, we do. Not really. It didn't take away from it, but it didn't add anything. It just, it was kind of bizarre. Even the dude, like, her so-called, I'm using air quotes, guys, husband, seemed pretty weird. But then again, I have never lived in a vault underground. And... Ah, there you go. We got that jump. Uh, but like I said, I'm... I'm being more nitpicky. I think that I was watching it and I was in awe when I started to follow her storyline. They explain exactly what they did, just like in Fallout 3, what would happen if when you're training and doing stuff in the vault. All the kids are meant to be kept up to a certain level of... physical education except for apparently the people on the council they don't have to be they don't have to exercise or do anything but everybody else does so there's always that to, to aim for right guys I am going to watch it again and I would suggest anybody else to watch it again to watch it if you haven't Gotcha. Oh! <laughs> oh, you get a dude in a power armor suit. Now I'm wrecking house. Good God. Right in the neck. Yes. When they started talking about the... Nice. Oh, nice. That's legendary, guys. Could have had a star beside it. Take all the pieces off there. Um, the stories of the vault, of at least these three vault, the, the the vault in this story. So Vault Thirty Three is the story, is what the TV shows talking about and taking place. You do see another vault called Vault Four, and they explain what happened in that vault, which that in the story alone, like what happened in Vault. Think about it. What happened in Vault 111? Well, they f f uh, froze everybody, and it wasn't a real vault. So that's what you're coming down to, and that f is very. That's what I like about Fallout, because you can make a TV show. And you can make a bunch of series coming out of one vault on the east, on the west coast. So they can do four seasons, if not more, if they want it. Oh no, I don't want to have to do this, dog. Just about their vault and the girl and what she goes through and whatever, and then you know she moves on with her life because out in the, outside the vault. 
Right. Then we can start another season or series season. Yeah, pretty much season. But set it off. I don't know. Texas, Middle America, the East Coast from a different vault. And the story is similar, but it's not. Get off the... Seriously, cat, get off the... No, it's not a gate. Get off the cord. Silly goose. Just got ragdolled. Vault 88. I don't know, man. They showed, like... But that was like that's so great about it. Like they were giving a hint of what could be, especially when they had like the powers to be sitting down in a room talking about like what they need to do and who gets what vault and whatever <clears throat> the person wants to do with the vault. I think that's awesome. I think that's amazing. Like our ability to say. I want a vault to live a certain way. Okay, cool. How do you want a vault? Well, we can't have all the same. Well, fine. Hi, buddy. I'm in the middle of something right now. I know. Yeah. Yeah. I put some food up for you, buddy. Okay. Lay down. Stop pulling on my cord. Ah ha! Yeah, I'll swing by. I'll swing by when I'm done mine and have a peekaboo at what you got going on, bud. Not a problem, AJ. What I liked about the Fallout about is about the TV show or the game. Uh, the TV, if I'm going to say it about the game, I like that you're out here and it is hell, but the story of the West coast, oh shit, vault 88 just tuned in this, this world here on like different parts of the U S I've always wanted to know what happened in the rest of the world. I love the story that much where the world in which he creates. So at everything history wise is all the same right up until um, what's it called? World War Two. After the end of World War Two, that's where the game world starts is different than normal history because everything changes instead of us which what i thought if you look back i think a lot of people thought that that nuclear power was going to be the way we were going to have a better better life um but everybody was way too paranoid after what happened with good reason good reason you know i get it you know we just blowed Japan up so not everybody was like yeah let's just have these all over the place but in the game that's what they did they got away from okay we're going south away from using it as a weapon to later on that's what people do but they were able to make robots it's the nuclear stage, things that people were able to do, the lack of famine. Oh, Lord. This is in the game. This guy right here, he's in the game. I don't want to kill him, but let's give him a little... Oh, you're ugly. Give him a little scare. Yeah, that's right. Look at me. Look at me. I'm your daddy now. <laughs> I 
Um, but the story of the video game itself, why it is awesome, is what's going on in these vaults. Why are some vaults absolutely 100% normal? What'd you find, buddy? Oh, shit. This is the Deathclaw nest. Oh. Like hell, I'm sticking around here. What the hell? Where am I going? The amount of vaults that are there, the things that are happening in these vaults, is what's absolutely fantastic. And at the end of the day, that's what draws me in. That's what makes me want to... That's that's what really makes me want to like get in, involved with it. Let's check my map. Where am I? All right. We've come a long way, about half the map. Um Pinkfire, have you ever played any of these games? Or anything like that? Of any of the uh, the Fallout games? Where the fudge are we? Oh, here's a relay tower. If you guys have played it, just let me know. I know, like, a lot of the old school guys that, I, that got me into Fallout, they were like the Fallout 1. Uh, follow tactics. The Brotherhood of Steel. That was on the original Xbox. Alright, well we got this relay station. This looks like it's a whole town thing set up. I don't want to... I don't want to... I'm going to go into the town right now. Let's check this out. Haha, <laughs> yeah, look at this. What's up, guys? Just give me some bourbons. But yeah, it gives you the opportunity to play, like, play in Fallout. Cool. Fireworks. Sweet. Oh, damn. That almost came back in on me. What what don't you like about Fallout? Is there something that, if it's just not the style of game, like, we've talked about that, like, some people just don't like these styles of games, which we've talked about. That's totally fine over the years. There's lots of games. Not every game is meant for everybody. Though they can be rated E for everybody, doesn't mean they're for everybody. There are people who like dungeon crawlers. So there are going to be people who are like, you're not going to live stream Diablo 4, are you? That's got the devil in it. That's the devil's work. Diablo is the devil. And you're like, uh-huh. Okay. Sure. It's a game. Yes. Be careful. You know, don't go opening up weird gate gateways or anything like that. Or something crazy. But it's not a, It's not real. Except for they base some of the demonic stuff on... You know what? I, I digress. I loved playing this game because I had spine surgery. And my best friend and I got to play. And we would talk on the phone 
and I would play because he wasn't at my house. And then that way we could still hang out and I could still play video games. And I was in bed for several months. So yeah, that's why I love Fallout. I also played... What was it? Dragon Age? No. Not Dragon Age. Yeah, Dragon Age. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's what it is. Dragon Age Inquisitor. Dragon Age 2. You get to be... Um, a warden. It's, it's fun. I enjoyed those games. I spent a lot of time, like I said, just sitting around, laying on my back until I was able to do re better rehab. But yeah, I I like the richness of the stories. Some quests, you're like, this is stupid. This is like a stupid quest. So I feel like some quests, you get like, you're like, Who's the rookie? Did you give a rookie some of these quest lines? Because I feel like somebody that knew the quest line is like, I lost my baseball. Go find it for him. What the? F what are you doing, boy? Ah! Whoa. Oh, yeah. Good lord, I couldn't shoot this. Nope, I'm not going to get that shot off. This is crazy. The Resident Evil and Hound Dogs are coming for us, guys. So those are just like, I want to say like, wild dogs or... Where did that guy run to? I saved your life, come back. I want to talk. Can we be friends? <laughs> I don't have any friends. Nobody loves... Oh! It's a farmer. I'm not... Dude, I'm not trying to shoot you. Five bucks says he's mad. Yeah. You punched my dog, dude. Nobody touches my dog. All right. You know what the great thing about this game is, yes, this looks like a lot of, like, shooting because you just got to go, like, it's part of the game. Like, you got to kill things that are attacking you. But I've spent probably 40 to 80 hours of game time building settlements, building housing for people, for my people, making sure they had a farm system set up, like, legit... I know some guys that did whole YouTube. Of the On the run? On the run. Ah. So if you're like you're like, ah, oh, I'm not big on shooting. Okay. That I totally that I totally get. I know a lot of people are like, I don't like shooters. Alright. Do you like settlement building? Cause that's cute. Nice. Nice. Slows time down a bit while aiming. Cool. When we get all the way to the bottom, to where the big hole is. What we'll do is we'll come back up and we'll clear out a spot. And I'll show you how you could just like get lost in building. You could build different fortresses. I did that once. I set up five bases. I didn't go far into the game. I just built five bases. And I built those fortresses right up the way I wanted to. Uh, south. Excuse me. Uh, I'm gonna ha if I go. Okay, I'm gonna go this way a little bit. 
to get closer to the edge to go down. And then I set up... Oh! Uh, blood-sucking son of a bee sting. And I built these bases and made them all, like, protected and, like, would talk with my buddies about, like, how to set up bases. We even had, like, even Dad was in on it. He's like, he loves Fallout as well. Because he played the old school one when it's, like, on computer. And I have no problem building settlements, but when they're, like, constant all the time, there's, like, 50 different settlements you can have so you build all of these bases and then you there's a mod and it was called like zombies and it what happens was like every couple hours in game you would get attacked by like waves of zombies which are ghouls in this in this game which <laughs> it was so it's so much fun because then now you're just like watching to see if your people and the buildings and the, the defense you set up can withhold and withstand the attack. All right. That's a bunker. What the hell's over there? Yeah. But yeah, I understand. And just like some people are like, I don't like South Park games. And I'm like, that's cool. <laughs> I'm going to play it. Because... Here's the, here's the sneaky thing. If it's got a good story, it's kind of fun to play. If it makes you feel like you're a part of it, like Stick of Truth and Fracture Butthole, made you feel like you're actually inside South Park. Oh, damn! Demon dog! Oh. All I can think about is what AJ was talking about, about getting me some fried chicken or something. I don't know. I do like me some fried chicken. I also like popcorn chicken. I know KFC does it, but you can also buy it at the store and make it in your own air fryer, which is even better. It's so good. Um, I liked Kingdom Two Crowns, New Lands, and well, Kingdom, New Lands, and Kingdom New Crowns. And not a lot of people like side scrollers. A lot of people are like, "Man, it's not for me." And I was like, "Dude, I have like a hunt. What did I have like eighty-eight days on it? I love that game, and I know other people don't like it. Oh." I feel like I also liked I also like Starfield. But I know a lot of people have a problem with it and want to put paint hate on it. All right. You got to do what you got to do. You paint to hate what you need. Um Oh shit, monkey. If I can keep my distance from them, I can actually shoot them. All right, let's. What game do you like, Pink Fire, or anybody else in the chat? Put it down below. What is your favorite game that other people have told you it's not a good game? Because back in the old days when Nintendo was popping out video games for almost every single movie that came out, there was a lot of shitty games, but a lot of great games. Like... The old school Super Nintendo, The Lion King, was probably one of the hardest games I ever had to play. Those games were challenging. And when you rented them, you only got it for a weekend. 
for like 350 for the weekend. Just saying. Mm. How much is that doggy in the window? Let's give me some computer hacks. Your cane, uh, your faithful cane on companion can hold an enemy. Okay. If the dog's gonna follow us, Animal Crossing. I'm not even mad. I'm not even mad. Okay. But I want to tell you right now, some people made that into some very inappropriate stuff. You had to be very careful when you search Animal Crossing online. All right. God damn it, demons. Okay. Like, everybody loves the, the Witcher, the TV show, because of Henry Cavill. But I guarantee you, not a lot of them have been watching the show. Or wa playing the game. Nobody was there when your your horse would just appear on top of the building, or halfway through it, like a glitch. I got... Cyberpunk day one for my new for the new Xbox my Xbox Series X it was a gift I got for myself I was super what's happening here oh shit alright so we got let's kill these guys um people hated it well, you had an old Xbox or an old system, and you were trying to run a next-gen game. So they just beat the crap out of that game. The people who made it... This guy's a boss. Not anymore. And I liked the game. I liked that you could build and design your own thing. And take your time. Sonic Unleash. Did you... Have you ever played the new Sonic game? Sonic for, uh, Frontier? I was gonna do it. Um, but we got into South Park stuff. And I just was like, meh. I'm not gonna... Playing like 15 games at once isn't... Holy good lord! What has he got? A rocket launcher? Shooting rockets at me from five feet away. The f dude, get your shit together, buddy. Let me take all that stuff. But yeah, no, I haven't. My nephew loves Sonic and loves playing them. So. I have no problem with that. Do you remember uh, Mario and Sonic's Olympic Olympics? Where they did all the Olympics sports. Those are fun. It's a fun game. Uh, you know, it is what it is. If you like to play sports games, you're going to like to play sports games. I have, you know, I have friends that only play Madden or NBA 2K or the baseball. They just, that's all they play. No matter when you call them, whenever, you could check their thing. Meanwhile, their girlfriend's sitting beside them playing Animal Crossing, getting into some weird fetishes. I don't know about the tally over there, the townie, but yeah, hey, to each their own. Teach your own. If I, uh, I don't want any more bobby pins. Damn it. Damn, damn, damn. All right. Let's keep marching. So you started playing 
uh, Sonic the Hedge or Sonic's game, Sonic's Unleashed, and that got you into Platinum, like figuring out Platinum, different Platinum games. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, I'm getting blown up here. Why are you going in the building, dog? The f Whoa, what the f You saw that, right? What was that? Oh shit, it's a death claw! Well, the dog didn't get it. Who was shooting at it? It barely had any health. Hey, wait there. No. I fluked out. Sure the hell wasn't that... Sure wasn't the dog. Psst. Let's go. I know a lot of guys... A, a lot of people... So I shouldn't say guys. When I say... Guys, I'm talking about generally like just everybody. Just looking like, hey, everybody, like all these guys. It's it's not a male or female thing. I try to be conscious about that for everybody. Because I know I have 7% female audience. That's right. That's what my, my YouTube channel lets me know. That's... So, thank you, all 7% of you. Yeah, you're great people. We like you. Um, but, yeah. I know people that will only play a game, and then, then they only max that game out. And when they're done maxing it out, then they can leave it. <clears throat> I know guys that only play Halo. And I know guys that only play the shooter games, like your Call of Duty boys. And girls and people who love that game. Awesome. Here's the thing. If it brings... If it's going to make you happy... It's not hurting anybody. And all you're doing is like... Playing your favorite game. Go for it. You're going to build friends and communities, man. Like that's... That's what we're, people forget. Like... I'm sure... There, there are tons. Yeah, there's a big... Here it is. This is what they were... So this mutant was fighting the Deathclaw. This is a super mutant. Good lord. And he just got blown to smithereens. I want to get the out of this section. They do, they keep quiet. <laughs> They've messaged me in private. Some just like to listen. Um, they get... They just feel like... Oh, can I get this? Do you hit a deer? Gotcha. Some people get... get weird when they get into a chat and they start chatting and everybody's chatting and then all of a sudden everybody stops and their chat comes through and they're like oh oh dude it's always going to be okay that's why i always say treat people with respect in the channel if you want to chat feel free there's nothing you're going to say if you're talking about video games, movies, TV shows, sport. What the fuck? My whole ch Ah, there's scorpions and death claws. Oh my. The scorpions are getting them. If the ladies want to chat more. I almost made like. I've always thought about making like one live. Just for. Look at them over there. They're probably messing with my dog. Eat. 
eat and die. Scorpion. Oh, it's barely even touching him. All right, we need to get some rat away on first, and then we will continue this heartfelt discussion. Rat away. Now, these scorpions and death claws are absolute beasts. They're mutated animals, and they're going to mess you up. So, if you're low level and don't have a mod on, it's giving you sweet, sweet awesomeness, run away. Stay at the top of the map. In the top corner around... Um, what the hell is it called? Sanctuary. That's the lower levels. And as the farther you go away from it to the bottom corners, the harder the game will get. I didn't put any right away on. Damn it. Right away. All right. Now, are we getting close to where we're supposed to be going? Okay, so we're now on the cusp of going into where the actual bomb was. This is the farthest, I want to say, the, the farther region where you're just walking and getting... You know what? You were, Pinkfire. You are very much one of the very first um, ladies to come chat. Now, this is all, like, just absolutely bad radiation. And as we keep going closer and closer, it's going to get more and more touchy. But there is a building here. Where? Oh, where? Oh. And the stuff that's in this region, you want to come in with a full suit. I got my Doomsday outfit on. We'll see what, how good that does. Hey guys, what's going on in here? Is uh, everybody okay? Quite nice to base you got here. Got some drones, some robots, couple beds. Oh yeah, I gotta keep strong, man. Hit those weights. There's the Coca Cola, uh, the Nuka Cola girl. All right, let's keep going. Like I said, we're going south for the winner. If you have a, a particular game, like I say, I always ask somebody, is there a game that I should try? I'm always, I'll give it a look. So one thing I like about having my Xbox because I have Xbox oh, what is it ultimate and we get game pass you get to try a lot of games and there are a lot of beautiful indie games that you might not get a chance to they have amazing stories and other things like that So when I flew down to Mexico, that was the nightmare that was sitting in the back of my head. I remember every... Oh, oh. Get out of here, death stingers. Um, everybody just talking about it. People were like... Ah. It's already bad enough that I have to... Oh! Oh. I just moved in my chair to get away from it, but it was... I wasn't getting away from it. We're in... We're not in Kansas anymore, Dorothy. Oh, that's the wrong move. Come on. I would be... I would be pissed. 
But at the same time, what are you going to do? There are a lot of people, I hate using the word Karens, but there are a lot of Karens out there. And that goes for boys. Or other people. It doesn't even matter what your sex is anymore. However you want to identify. It doesn't even matter. We're just calling Karen as a douche canoe who ruins everybody else's time. You're not doing something. They're like, ah, you can't do that. You're like, what? Or when they was like, do you know who I am? Bitch, I don't care who you are. Sit the f down. We're on a plane. Okay? Unless you're a pilot, shut your mouth. They didn't give me my peanuts. I don't give a shit. Be courteous. You're in a tink. Uh, I don't want to go over there. Look at all those scorpions fighting each other. Let's see what I can get. If I can get rid of one. Maybe two. Oh, shit. Run, dog! Gotcha. Look at the size of this thing. Radiated scorpions. I don't think anybody that's been, like, unless you, have you had that problem happen? Have you been on a plane and somebody's gone all Karen ash? We're just going to call them Karen ash. All Karen ash. If that person's gone all Karen ash on you when you're on the plane. Uh, I, my plane flight down to and from my flight to England and other places had no problems. Everybody was courtesy, Curtis. Shiverless. All the good words. Yeah. If, you, if you're going to take... like, Oh, we're still got a little bit of way to go down. Oh, shit. Um, if you're going to sit there and like... I don't like it when people walk up to other people and start hitting them. And then be like, what are you going to do about it? And then the guy hits them back. Because then the debate always comes down to, it's like, well, it's not right. And you're like, well, Karen. You sat there, taunted them for 15 minutes, and your friends videotaped it. You're smacking and hitting him. But that woman got arrested and charged with assault. Because she was dumb enough. Oh, that's a legendary. Ah! Stay where you are. Another one bites the dust. And another one rides. Another one rides. Another one rides the bus. Alright. We're gonna keep walking. We're going south. Yeah, she had it on her live stream. Like, full camera so you can see them. And she's sitting there talking on the phone to somebody. And she's like, yeah, uh... We're both in a vehicle right now. And we're both heading down. And he's like, yeah, I'm here too. And she's like, just punches them right in the face while they're driving. I'm like, what the hell? We're in a vehicle here, people. Like. All right. I feel like we're getting close. I need to get some more right away in me. We're getting close to the danger zone. Just the air around here is hard to look at right now. Got him. Oh god, this is like a... Ah! Fural ones are the worst. I can't back up. Uh, 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 uh. Leave my dog alone, man. Okay. 
Okay. So the ground looks even worse. We're getting close and closer. As the radiation starts to pick up. So if you're going to come out this far and you're you need a a full suit of armor with extra rad stuff, that's what you want. And you want to make sure that you have the those resistances which I'll show you. All aboard. Nuka Cola. Well, that's somewhere where you can go. All right. Nuka Cola is way over there. How can there be something that's further over here? People that say they haven't, that they don't eat and stuff. I can go piss off. I get hangry so I can treat people like crap because I haven't had a sandwich. Here, have a Snickers, dude. You're not yourself when you ha haven't eaten. Whoa. What is this? I forgot about this. What is it? What's going on here? Are they hostile? Nope. Brother Griffin. What the... What these demonic people living down here? Like, I took food with me the on the plane. We'll see Adam's glory again. Okay. These are the crazy people that worship the Adam. So they worship the bombs that fell. The world will be shown Adam's glory. And it's not Adam like Adam and Eve. It's like Adam like the atomic bomb. What's up, Griff? Excuse me. In the end, we are all Adam's children. Are we? I don't think so, bud. Excuse me. May Adam bless you with his glow. You approach Adam's holy ground. Huh. Why? State your purpose or be divided in Who the hell's talking to me? I hate when that happens. Is it this lady? Are you talking to me? Oh, you are. Uh, holy ground. What's up? Holy ground, Adam. What's going on here? Adam reached out and touched this world, bringing his glow to us. It remains to this day a reminder of his promise. Infinite worlds through division. You worship I'm the Adam. To worship Adam, just like you. If that is true, then you may stay. But no. That if your heart is false, Atom will see, and you will suffer his wrath. Well, that's not a good idea. Give unto me your eternal fire. Okay. Oh. I had to put some more rat away on. Yes. Okay, cool. Mother isolation. I'm going to take this, because that's a sweet magazine. Scoop. Okay, I can't take the bobby pins, because it would be considered yeah. stealing. And I don't feel like killing a bunch of people who live right where the atom bomb blew up. All those seeking Adam are welcome. Or is it something more tangible you require? I don't know. You guys got a quest or something? What's up? All right. Well, it was nice meeting all of you guys. Uh, I'm getting the hell out of here. So this is where the bomb hit. As you can see, the craters are now all made from that where the bomb went. And I want to get the hell out of Dodge. But I still have two legs and not a third one growing up my back. Yeah. Oh, I need some right away. Rad X and right away to prevent 
anything from happening. Let's keep running up here. This looks like some kind of military outlet. Oh, I heard that growl. Who there? Milton? Ho oh, ho! Death claw. This is a death claw nest. This is death. Uh, run away! Run away! Yeah, I can't get me in here, you son of a bitch. <laughs> I'm pretty sure my dog's gonna get killed. Yeah, and he's dead. It's standing right outside the door. That's the red dot. We are hooped. Can I fast travel the hell out of here? Can I go home? Oh, we can fast travel. Sweet. Where's my dog? A scorpion. That was creepy. You okay, bud? Heads up. How you doing, buddy? Eh, never mind, boy. Let's see what other wonders of hell they got going on in here. Oh, this looks like one of the Adam kids. Interesting. I'm almost trying to power jump now. I'm so used to games like that. Oh, it's not a nest. It's just an area where all these crazy animals are. All right, let's go back up. Since we came all the way back down, I will get rid of my marker. Remove my marker. We went all the way down. So right here, when it says sanctuary, it says zero people and they're about 50% happiness. We're going to go back. Since we did some shooting, some killing, we saw some big creatures. We saw what really happened. There's some, where the nuke happened. Now we're back up here in lovely paradise. I'm just going to clear that. Drink some nice, fresh, purified water. And what we're going to do is we're going to clean up this region right here. So. We're going to go scrap everything. Clean this area up. I'll leave that. That looks like a good work spot. Let's clean up some of this steel. We can take that whole house because it's... If the house is bad, and you just clean it up. And I'll give you a rundown of what I like to do. We make sure we get all the pieces. Clear all this up. 
you know, if we want the neighbors to come visit, we got to clean up, right? So that's the best part about this. So if you're like, um, I don't like doing what you're suggesting. Like, I don't want to have to fight all the monsters all the time and do shooting games. That's cute. What I like to do is just clean up this. If you just like to do, like, buildings and stuff, I suggest there's a couple mods out there that would do, like, a clean app. And this clears it all up and gets it nice. You can get the infinite gear. And that way you can come in here and start to build. So there's a couple different I setups I like to do. So I like this setup. Why can't I put the frame down? Oh, there we go. Gotta have it touch the ground just a little bit. And then we go, and then we start to play. What can we lock? Up, down, just a little, just a little, just a teeny tiny notch. All right, that's not going to work. Not there. Scaffolding one I like to use for... But it won't, it won't let you connect. So you got to put new floors down on it. I try to use this the best I can for like a true 90 and if you have a PC getting those tight corners is a lot easier but once you got it they just snap collect now is there problems with this system obviously there's always been problems doesn't it mean it's shitty nope Outside of a true built, like, subtle building game. It's one of the better ones. It's given us lots of things to do. And I wish they had taken the same idea to Starfield. A lot easier. Now. That set out like that. I'm gonna, I go one more out. Now. Turn. Let's get some walls. And then you have like your choices of like style of walls, how you want to do it. What I want is a one of the door. We're gonna. Is it only four? Yep. Just gotta swing all the way back to the front. Because I'm guessing the front is where the door is. So now this is our new thing. You can go to stairs. I find the two little ones like that. Oh, yeah. So now people can come in, and it'll be like, oh my god, you built this? So cool. It's got no other walls. That's okay. Uh, we need to actually get some walls up first. So what I do is I like to have these set up on one side because I like to put my vendors on those. It saves the room in the middle for tables and for people to 
set up. That way you and it's easier for them to walk around. When we get a town set up, what you're looking for. Let's go to floor, but let's go roof floor. So this gives me a roof and a floor. Kacha. Do one spindle there. So you can So this is a whole floor system. The hook up. So what I would do is I place place it here. So I have it. Take this, get rid of it. Then place this in. Cause now it's giving me proper stairway up. And we got to go to floor. Spin it. Come on. There we go. Place in the rest. Now, if you want to leave this one open to have another staircase, you can go fairly high. Which is pretty awesome. Now, I would build this as like your primary area of commerce set up all around here. Um, Oh yeah, that's some nice walls. Now you can get some other, like I said, we want commerce on the outskirts. So you can change it up. You can have one like that. Uh, they can't have that one because they won't connect. Well, they connect, but they, it's unappealing to the eyeball. Well, for me it is, it irritates me. They get natural light. That's what we want. Whoop. Really? Come on. Come on, wall. Come on. So once you got that, you can come into, let's go to resources, no, stores. And it says different traders, armory, weapons, food and drink, your clinic, clothing. So food, uh, we can't get any of the ranks until I have the other ones. All right. I know how to fix that. Where's the leadership? Local leader. That's what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to set things up. It's not want not you can get so this scrapper is a great thing to have because when you break down or salvage things it's gonna get more screws aluminum copper and these things are absolutely necessary to have you need them for everything all right back to the workshop Let's go back, trader. Oh, I need bottle caps for these. Oh, son of a monkey uncle. 
I guess I could go to the girl to sell stuff, but. So we have all the craft. I would I make this building right beside it where I do all my crafting. Now you can get the crafters. No different. No. Resources. This is like um, gardening pots. You're going to set, you can put those down, you're going to go to town. This is a salvaging pot. You can get massive salvaging. Scalvaging. So I like to put one usually like right there. And like one right. So what'll happen is you have people that work or really? Whatever. I'll put them back here then. Beside this building. So people will come and work those and take all the garbage that we go pick up. So if we're picking up just tons of stuff all over, they'll bring it if you bring it here and drop it off in this town, they'll start cleaning that up for us, which is amazing. That's what we want. Food resources, you have to actually have seeds or have collected the things to start planting them. And you can get more. I need trees. So you can clean up your own area. Get the stump gone. What people don't realize is where's the Brahma bull? Is the Brahma bull in here? Yeah. So this, <coughs> this is where some planting and stuff goes. But what you don't know, that this is for the animals. This will come if I place one here. And now those big two-headed like bulls will come there and start like drinking water or something. I don't know. The minute it's there, they show up. So. And to gather my people, I always put a bell. So when we're looking for everybody and I want to assign jobs, they have a barber's chair. Just things you can assign people jobs. It's always important to make sure you have water. But these all require electricity. This does not. We have zero water. But we do have a full setup here. So what I like to do is come down here to the water. I don't have science yet, but once I get it, it's a bigger one. And they got to be in submerged in water. So you place it into the river, and then you got to run power lines all the way to it. And set up a generator and stuff like that. So you got to take your time with that. We have defenses. What we should do... So we got to put some beds in. We'll put them on the roof. On the second floor. I'm just going to walk our way through here. We will put, end up putting stuff up. So what I like to do, I will fix it. You have to put walls in. It's just to show you guys what's up. You can put those beds together. As long as they have a path to get to them, it's fine. So, <clears throat> the amount of beds you have or the amount of people can come into. 
So you get these beds set up. People then will come up here at nighttime and go to bed up here. Finish your walls to clean up that. You can put like a lot of the gardening. Now, I personally would build a third floor or tear that building down right there and have it so that all my food was up in the air. I've done it before. I call it the tower system where they, in the bottom of the building is all the commerce. So anybody that comes to visits, they have they'll have tables and chairs and stuff I can set up in here, which is awesome. Couches, music's playing, all good. I put two massive turrets outside the door in case any monsters try to come in on, come up on my people. And then the second floor I make for the beds. The third floor I have, third and fourth, is just for food. Meaning they're collecting and doing uh, plants and gardening and all that. The only people that are usually outside are the ones on guard or the ones that are working in the workshop. Yeah. I don't know, guys. You tell me. The building section of this can be fairly amazing and a lot of fun. Like, you can go in and start breaking down, like, what type of chairs you want. I built so you can have <clears throat> patios where you're sitting out just being able to overlook the city or I guess a little town. Benches, different chairs. Whoops. You can start like putting shelving and stuff. Like I've spent a lot of times doing that. This goes up on the wall. If it's in the game, pretty much you can go for it. If you want to play Builder, you can add mods and have a uh, hoot. Just building. Not doing anything else. You're like, did we save everybody? No, I haven't left this area. So it says build power supply for a, a beacon. We can even decorate. So we can put up. Uh, armory sets so we set them up and then we can put our private armor set on um, there's display cases so you can display all your cool weapons that you find over the wasteland um, these are different power armor sets that you can so they light up these are weapon racks you can end up putting up in case somebody needs a weapon you're like place it right here on the wall and whatever weapons you want to put on them you can welcome mats throw in a little little rug right here we're just trying to stay homey The mats that go in garages. Other statue stuff you can put up. Christmas trees. Yeah, not not likely. So they have Nuka stuff. Why? Mm. 
And miscellaneous garbage. Um, it's always good to put decorations. A doghouse. Meaning your dog will sleep in it. So wherever we put it, that's where he'll always be when we're looking for him. And I like to make sure that he is front and center. So I know where he is. And then I put this little thing here. Keep him warm. He's a good dog. He was... You're absolutely right. I was... I thought he was... One of the high shining moments of that entire show. But his wife, man... I don't know, man. I don't know. She's evil. Straight up evil. And you can see it broke him. No problem, man. Like, I... Whereabouts... In the world are you hiding? Oh. Where you... How late is it for you? Where you are? I really want to go on with the story, but at the same time, I don't want to do with Harvey. Or not Harvey. Whatever his name is. I know what he's going to... Oh! Die, bug. So all this stuff in these buildings, you can tear right out. Oh, Pre-war money. See the vault? I don't even have any bobby out pins. Bobby pins. Yeah. I got shit right now. Check about this. Captain Cosmos with his pet monkey. The Moon Monkey. Co starring. Jangles, uh, uh, the Moon Monkey. Oh, so you're in like the Midwest because you're two hours. I'm on the. West Coast, so you're about two hours ahead of me. What is that? But once you like build a settlement and you start getting the feel for it, this is another settlement. And what you can do is start Attaching workers to walk back and, f like, to carry goods to other settlements. The game can turn into just literally never playing. Oh, here we go. Never worrying about what's actually going on. You're just worrying about your settlements. Oh, hell no. Where'd you go? There we go. Smash right in the butt. What time uh, do you think you might go live tomorrow? Bud? Well, I, I'm not streaming all the way till tomorrow.
Yeah. Do you got a, like a a time that you go do that? Okay, we're in Conquering right now. We're going to have a look. So you're going to go Saturday at midnight? This town doesn't look that bad, comparably. Somebody shooting my dog? You don't deserve to live. Alright, well if I'm if I'm alive up and awake at midnight, I'll swing by. Not a problem, bud. Swing by and say hi. See how you're doing. Hey, up here, on the balcony. I've got a group of settlers inside. The raiders are almost through the door. Grab that laser musket and help us, please! I could end it all right now. But I didn't. All right, let's go inside and... Take this fusion cores. Uh, we're going into the museum, guys. We're going in. No bobby pins. I ain't got no bobby pins. I don't even have Bobby's pants. I don't have his pins. I don't have nothing. Oh, who the hell be shooting me now? Oh, look at this. Now she ain't got no face. That's okay. They always say that. They always say that, but I don't believe them. Oh, all night, every day? Taxation without representation? Send them back to London, boys. Come on. Come on. Let's just get the hell out of here. We got no reason to hang. That system shooting you up. Look at this. That's quite the mural. Good day, America. Let's keep walking up here and see what's going on. And gonna skin That's one of you. Come on, man. They ain't going nowhere. We got other shit to deal with. 
You hear that? I gotta go take a little walk. I'll be back, and you'll be dead. Got him. Ooh. That one. Oh, my dog's got him. You would use a tire iron on a dog. You sick son of a bitch. You don't deserve to live. In case anybody needs some stuff. Man, I don't know who you are, but your time is impeccable. Okay. Justin Garvey, Commonwealth Minute. Oh, what's up, Garvey? I'm just passing through. Fair enough. But the enemy of my enemy is my friend, right? And those raiders want us all dead, including you. Um, Maybe. I got my own problems, bro. I have my own problems, Garvey. Yeah? Like what? You help us? Maybe we can help you. What a dick thing to say. Honestly, I got my own problems. Like what? What? Like what? Who's around that can find a missing person? Used to have a few good trackers in this group. Not many now. Hey. A month ago, there were 20 of us. Yesterday there were eight. Now we're five. First it was the ghouls in Lexington, and now this mess. Damn, Lexington. What happened there? Um. Ghouls? What are ghouls? Wow. You really aren't from around here, are you? Ghouls are irradiated people most are just like you and me they look pretty messed up and live for a long time but they're still just people the ones i'm talking about are different the radiations rotted their brains made them feral damn you apart just as soon as look at you anyway we shot some of them we figured conquer would be a safe place to settle those raiders proved us wrong but well, we do have one idea. Let's hear it. Sturgis, tell him. There's a crashed vertebrate up on the roof. Is Old there? School. Pre war. You might have seen it. Well, looks like one of its passengers left behind a seriously sweet goodie. We're talking a full suit of cherry T 45 power armor. Military issue. Power armor? That could be useful. That's some serious protection. Oh, it gets better. Get the suit. You can rip the minigun right off the vertibird. Do that, and those raiders get an express ticket to hell. You dig? <laughs> could work. It'll work, provided we can reactivate the suit. It's totally out of juice. Probably has been for a hundred years. It can be powered up again, but we're a bit stuck. Let me guess. <sighs> Solutions. So, what's the solution? I don't want what excuses. An old pre-war FC, a standardized fusion core. Your high-grade, long-term nuclear battery used by the military and some companies way back when. And we know right where to find one. But we can't get to the damn thing. It's down in the basement. Locked behind a security gate. Look, I fix stuff. I tinker. Bypassing okay. security ain't exactly my forte. You could give it a shot. You're 100% I could. I already have one, though. Actually, I already grabbed the fusion core. We found one. Well, all right. Maybe our luck's finally turning around. Once you jack the core into the power armor and grab that minigun, those raiders will know they picked the wrong fight. Good luck. Ugh. It's like I gotta do everything around here. 
There we go. Hey, Sturgis. That fusion core will do the job. Trust me. Okay. Mama Murphy. Hey. You're not what I expected dog meat would find in that little neighborhood. But oh, so much better. He's a good dog. A good dog. Smart, too. Oh, indeed. Dog meat's good at finding folks who need him. And he'll stick by you now. I saw it. Uh, what? You saw it? Are you? It's the chems, kid. They give old Mama Murphy the sight. Been that way for as long as I can remember. That's incredible. That's incredible. I can see a bit of what was and what will be, and even what is right now. Uh, and right now, oh, she's I can see she's a junkie. This something coming, drawn by the noise and the chaos. Oh. And it is angry. What is it? What is it? Mama Murphy, I need more, please. I see. I see. You see what? You see dead people? and teeth and horns the very face of death itself that's all I can manage that's all I need to rest now and you have a job to do oh they changed this she asks you for chems and you give her chems, and so, so she can see, so she can see. It's like her thing, she needs jet or whatever. So they've taken that out because they don't want to, for you to give them drugs? I don't know. Uh, our first bobblehead. There we go. Perception is permanently added by one. Yeah. What's wrong with you, little buddy? You all right? Yeah, she doesn't take jet, man. Nothing wrong with a bit of kick. Don't let nobody tell you otherwise. Hey. It's coming. Yeah, soon. What is this? This lady is like tripping me out. You okay? We can't just stay trapped in here. This is ridiculous. Uh, Somebody do something. Oh. Awesome. Now I get to be the savior of these people. Maybe if you help us, maybe we know some things. Yeah, maybe. Maybe not. I don't know. We'll see how it goes. Personal log. United States Army Staff Sergeant Michael Daly. This past Saturday, October 23rd, while en route to West Stockbridge, a vertebrate crashed into the roof of this museum. Cause EMP following nuclear detonation. Several, in fact. From the intel I've gathered, this was a global event. The co pilot was killed on impact. The pilot died of his injuries a day after that. Flaherty and Kanawa were shot by some scared, desperate survivors. Then Brzezanski took off running. Haven't seen him since. Now, it's my turn to go here. Show me that fancy gun. A lot of people could get past my boys. I give you that. You're awake, asshole. I think I 
All right, we got some bad guys here now. Oh, they just keep running around the corner. And raiders, man. Raiders. Right in the groin. Oh, shit. I can't run fast enough. The suit sucks. Die, demon. All right, demons down. We still got more hostiles. Oh, this bitch is screaming about Ed's it. on. Now nah, she's dead. Not on anymore, is it? Got her. And now I feel like I'm in the movie. Where did this... Gotcha. Some bitch. Alright. Now we can just run back with our suit on. Which I'm going to leave right here. Get me the... Out of here. We'll be back. Let's go talk to them. See what they have for us on the inside. What's up, Preston? <clears throat> that was a pretty amazing display. Yeah. I'm just glad you were on our side. I'm glad I'm on your side too, buddy. All right. Uh, everybody okay? Yeah, he's going to be okay now. Yeah. For a while, anyway. We can at least move someplace safer. Listen, when we first met, you said you were just passing through. Well, maybe this will help you reconsider. Ain't much, but it's the best we can do. And you've earned it. Thank you. For $100. Thanks. You're welcome. Anytime. Well, since you say that, ah. you come to Sanctuary with us. We could use your help getting settled there. What would I need to do? You'd need to stay strong like you've been. Because there's more to your destiny. I've seen it. And I know your pain. Please, tell me. I need to know. Help me, Mama. I ran out of time. Out of hope. But all's not lost. I can feel your son's energy. He's alive. What? Mama Murphy? Where is my son? Tell me where my where son is. is. Oh, I wish I knew, kid. I really do. But it's not like I can see your son. I can just feel his life force, his energy. He's out there. Even I don't need the sight to tell you where you should start looking. The great green jewel of the Commonwealth. Diamond City. The biggest settlement around. Right. Well, that's, that's, that's super vague, vague, bro. Look, kid. I'm tired now. Maybe you'll bring me some chems later. Yeah, there we go. Clean a clearer picture. That's what I'm talking about. 
Murphy, we talked about this. That junk. It's gonna kill you. Ah, oh, shush, Preston. We're all gonna die eventually. We're gonna need the site. And our new friend here, he's gonna need it too. She's been walking around in slippers. He's got like combat boots and she's got slippers on. It's safe to move out. We're heading for that place Mama Murphy knows about. Sanctuary. It's not far. She knows about it? You mean she had one of her visions while she was stoned out of her gourd? And now you want us to just head out on another wild goose chase based on no better plan than Mama Murphy saw it? it can oh, hold, hold on, hold on. Than... Everybody just take it easy. We're all in this together, right? So Marcy, you got a better idea of what we should do next? Um. Anybody? Well then, <clears throat> sanctuary it is. Let's just hope it lives up to its name. Come on, June, it's time to go. Oh. I do find it funny that they're going to my house. Hi. Don't worry. I'll get these people to sanctuary. The concept of them saying like that and me being like, oh, I live there. And they're like, did you know? Sounds like you better get going to Diamond City. Hey. We need to keep moving. We're right behind you, boss. Ugh. Oh. All right. It looks like you got to move to Diamond City. But first, can you escort us home back to the base? Sure. I'll keep my eyes out so that you don't have to worry about anything. Like I said, we could go and like just clean house on this entire like this little settlement here just cleaning it up you you don't get a base here but you can go and there's tons of stuff i'm sure there's some crazy things that would happen if we go into the underground but we're just gonna walk these people back because then it's pretty much you're free to do whatever you want and that's what we're looking for. Why are they? Why are you guys walking the long way? Damage and destroyed power armor pieces can be repaired. The power. Okay. So that means the pieces that are broken on this can and will be replaced. I know they have to walk slower because they got Mama Murphy there. Oh, come on. Mama Murphy, sit on my shoulder. I'm going to miss this festering boil on the ass end of the Commonwealth. Uh, no offense if you're from here or something. <laughs> Where are we going? Don't worry, June. Just stay with me. It'll be fine. Oh, okay. Is somebody gonna attack us? Look at the sky. That's what happens when all the satellites get blown to smithereens. Or did they? I don't know. Pick it up, people. Go Harvey. Look at that. I think I just found my new vacation home. Your idea of heaven, eh, Sturgis? Could be some good salvage in there. Let's get the sanctuary first, though. I think we're close. Why don't you just ask the guy who lives there? How about that? I could tell you, like, it's right up the street. It's a half block away. Come on. Is 
See, there's the statue. We just got across the dead bodies and over the bridge. Oh. That means this right here must be the Old North Bridge, where the first shots of the American Revolution were fired. I'd call that the best omen I've seen since we left Quincy. Yeah, I don't know what you're talking about, boss, but I'm glad you're happy about it. Well, he's all excited because this is where the revolution started, like 500 years ago. You're gonna fall off. You're gonna fall off the bridge just like that, Harvey. Preston, let's go. I hate escorting missions with a passion. Especially when everybody dawdles. Like, could you walk any thing slower? Do, do, do. What'd you pull your gun out for, bud? Is that a fire pit? You don't like that? I'm glad you decided to come with us. I should have listened to Mama Murphy all along. I Pretty can live here. For us. I think we could settle down here. Make it a place to call home. What do you think? I live here. Yeah. I used to like living here. What do you mean? Before what war? Are you saying... I lived here over 200 years ago. I was frozen or something for most of it. Just woke up a little while ago. Damn. Like one of those old pre-war ghouls. You say you were frozen. Anybody else make it out with you? Maybe. I woke up at one point. Some killed my wife and kidnapped my son I'm trying to find him damn I'm sorry I hope you find him let me know if there's any way I can help anyway I am glad you're here here it comes and I hope you don't mind but I've got another favor to ask oh my god word from a settlement asking for help there's still hope in there are many men out there somewhere the only chance to start rebuilding the Miniman is to show people that they can count on us when they need us. Trouble is, I've got my hands full here. Do you think you could go help out the settlement? What kind of help do they need? Sounded like the usual. Raiders. You'll have to get all the details when you talk to them. I'd be glad to help. That's fantastic. We have Miniman literally, more people like you. we have no choice. Away. If you want to help out around here at all, Talk to Sturgis. I'm sure he'd be glad for all the help he can get. So, <clears throat> taking quests from Preston will give you all the stuff you want to do in the game for settlements. He will send you to every settlement in this game. And he always says, Oh, I've got another settlement for it, to the point where it's actually a meme. I do find it funny that Sturgis was Oh my god, Sturgis We're going to take the power core out Because if not These clowns, I come back and they're all in my power armor You willing to do some work? No No, I'm not even talking to you right now What he wants to do is he wants to set up Sturgis wants to set up everything that goes on with building the settlement. So he's going to tell you how you need plants and you need water and you need power and set up a beacon so that random people know that we got to come here. Oh, we need bet. We want nice beds and stuff like that. But 
this cow right here, Marcy, does shit in this community. She doesn't do anything, and neither does her husband. He's always like, I'm scared. I don't want to die. We're like, dude, there's nothing going on. You got to go to work. Ah, ah, ah. Like, you got to force him to go, like, do something over here. Sturgis, he's always, like, popping around, doing something in the yard. Preston's just walking around. Mama Murphy, wherever you build your base, so you're going to ask for a sweet chair. You're going to put her chair down for her. When you do, wherever you put that chair, it's then non-movable. So make sure you have whatever base settlement setup that you want, because that's where she goes. So if, say if this was our base, and I had everything set up here, I would put her chair, say, like somewhere over here with some nice couches. Make it nice so she could always feel like she's part of the group when she's sitting down. That's what I would do for her. Um... Where's, where's my stupid robot? <sighs> yeah. So, let's talk. So, yes. I'd be glad to help. Just tell me what you need. What do you need, buddy? For starters, we could use some real beds. We've been sleeping on the ground for too long. Just make sure we can sleep with a roof over our heads. Some of these old houses still look solid enough to do the trick. There's a workbench over there you can use. Give me a holler if you need anything. So what they want you to do is to start building the beds. So it means I have to put the walls and the roof on this other level, or it doesn't count. You can't have beds just out in the open, because nobody sleeps like that, apparently. Whoops. Now, we need the science. Where's my science at? Where's my science at? Mm -mm. Where's my science at? There. Now I don't have to worry about that. Just build the walls. Just do this. We also want power. We need this. It can become frustrating when that's all they ever, like, they always bitch, no matter what. No matter what we do. Or what I do. It's never enough for Preston and his little gang of friends. But that's okay. Because really, they just want you to build a fort and everything for them so they don't have to worry about how shitty life is which I get we'll make that all walls whoops where's the flat wall I like the wood one myself. We'll leave two open slots over there on both sides. And throw this one. That's how. I... Yeah, I know we need water. I almost feel like just let them, let them die. But we'll get water set up. <clears throat> because if you don't, everybody gets super sad, and they're like, "Oh my god, I can't live." I like it when you just put like sleeping bags down and they're like ah, it's not really a good way to sleep you're like all right so i had one that you had to i built a base where i put blocks outside and i built it so the only way you could get inside of it is if you jumped up to the base and that's how you got into it <laughs> i came back one day and they were all in they were all inside of it 
I was like, how the hell did you guys get inside? And they're like, we don't know how do you, and I had to put a door in and clowns, man. That's what I say. Clowns. Now I'm just going to put a metal roof. Well, it's not, it's like a shack roof. Whatever makes them happy. Oh. Come on. There we go. So like I said, as right now, they have low... They're low right now. With There's not a lot of people at this base. So we need to add in some water until I get a good power source set up. I hate this. There. Uh, we only have one food. Ah! All right. Well, I'm going to put one food thingy here because I haven't built it. So before I go pick these guys up, usually I like to have a lot of this already taken care of. So before you go get Preston, if you want to build the base of your dreams without them being annoying around you, that's what I would suggest. Uh, what kind of food we got? We got no corn. We got no grout. We got no. We got no tomatoes. We got no wheat. We have a couple trees. So, I'll put these trees here. Whoops. Until we're off and around and we can find some more things to get people with. That's all we can do. Um, where'd he go? Where'd that some bitch go? And now we need defenses. Of course we do. So I would just put a post like this and then I can set one of the dudes into it and if you set up a different one like a so and then you set it up right about meh and then what kind of turrets we got I knew we needed gun nut. Whatever. Just set up one. <sighs> we don't have any power, but we don't need anything that has power right now, which is fine. Like I said, this is a like pretty basic. What I would normally do is build this out so it hangs over a little bit and then put a security guard above the door here to shoot down people especially if you want to make this like where your people do all their stuff speaking of which crafting where's the food I can put a kitchenette oops like the who is I put like a, a little kitchenette thing here Because the one they have that's way down. Where is it? On the way into town. So they want us to put a beacon up. The minute you put a beacon up, people will start slowly gathering in the city. So I got rid of that one there for one reason. If you don't, they will walk all the way down from the house up here to go cook there. They got some fruit here. It's not a lot. They got a little they got a little melons. Look at that. Get this up off the ground. So they got water. 
They got everything. All right. Not power. So go to decorations. Miscellaneous. At the bottom of miscellaneous, we should find... No, it's not miscellaneous, is it? It's not in decorations, is it? Nope. Um... Furniture miscellaneous. All the way at the bottom. Toilet sink, water. <clears throat> you want to see these people be all super happy? Put one of these stupid things in. They'll sit on it all night. It needs a lot of space. You put that there. And then I spin this around. And let all these little gym monkeys get all happy. They absolutely love it. They're always using the stuff. You'll find the people are always there. Then put a couple couches down here to make everybody feel like super happy. They're like, oh shit, we'll watch. They're like, I got next set, bro. I got next set. Where's the couch? Where's the good one? I know we have a good couch, and I prefer that couch over the other ones. There we go. So you just put a couch here. <clears throat> you know, 90% of the time, you're going to find your peeps here, hanging out, doing their thing. Like I said, this is super, super rough. Oh, where's the kitchen? Is it over here? It might be in chairs. You can get a, like a booth with, with a table. There it is. So because the food's right there, I just like to... I just throw one of these in. So if they want to f eat, they got some stuff. Look at him. Already. Now, you can go like this. Click on him. And then assign him to a job. So I'm going to assign him to scavenging. Where are those two people I don't like? Are they still up... On the top floor. What we're going to do is we're going to tell these two. Freeloading. Alright. Apparently they're not there. This is when. Oh, this comes in handy. When you ring the bell. Everybody will come over. Okay. Okay. Then I can hold this down. Oops. I like it. Having a place to sleep will improve everyone's spirits. What we need now is a reliable source of clean water. I'm on, I'm it. on it. Clean water coming up. Great. Ah, oh, stop it. Now I go like this. Oh, she's already on food, so she's gonna do something all right where's her where's her husband where's that what's he doing nothing mm-mm uh-uh you can be on scrapping duty I don't care as you can see happiness is coming up and I'm just gonna put it my robot on defense. Here comes Surges. And I'll put him on. Really? Where are you?
What the hell? Damn it, Sergius. Do a job. Leave Mama Murphy alone. By the way, I've tried giving jobs to Mama Murphy, but she never, ever does it. They just walk around being like, Remember the old days? Remember? I remember. Remember how the Ewoks saved everybody? I remember. Yeah. They're like a bunch of member berries. So, like I said, you can go around the entire town, scrap all the dead wood, all the anything that's yellow, you can go in, go into the houses there, clean them all out. If you don't want to build something like this, you just got to clean out the entire building and then put a few beds in it. But if raiders and stuff come, it is so much easier when your people are all in like one building for protection. Now, all these clowns will eventually go in there once we get the businesses up. You can get them to work at the businesses. Like, they got power. We can get Jenny's going. Um, there's lights. Ah, there we go. I like to use these ones. Uh, there are different like ceiling lights you can get, sidewall mount lights, chand uh, not chandeliers, wall mounts. I usually use the string ones, and then string a couple across. But you got to connect them. It's a whole thing. It's a whole thing. There is a good mod, and it's like a wireless mod. So once you set up your your power source and all your electricity, it can just be wired to them. But instead of having to worry about trying to connect everything with wires, which that in itself is actually kind of fun, I would suggest you guys do it first. Get a Get a feel for it. It's a lot of a. Uh, it's a lot more work than you thought. Um, so you have like you can do conduits like this and run power out out the window and up. Uh, what's what's the best? How did I show you? So miscellaneous. I gotta get up on that roof. Ugh. I'm gonna have to. They're gonna make me build something? Is that what you're gonna make me do? Okay. I'm gonna wait. It's all good. So this is the recruitment built, uh, tower. I'm just going to put it right here. Because that's what they want. You can set other things up. These are different loudspeakers. They have neon lights where you can go and spell the words and stuff. Uh, there are conveyor belts when you start getting bigger. And you have more people you can set up to build... They take the scrap and turn them into bullets and stuff. It can be kind of cool. So these are the switches. You can turn all the power on and off. Generators. So we got a little generator. Medium sized generator. So once you get your science up, this is the kind of generators you guys want. You want to start getting to the big ones. But this, when you get to it, it's pretty good. That's the, the fusion core one. Once you can start manufacturing. So 
This is a power. This is a good old wind turbine. And it's going to give us three electricity. So now... Attach the wire. And then I got to attach the wire across... So you have to now have another connection that goes to this, which we can do. So that's how you get like around buildings. It. It's absolutely crazy, dude. Like, you wouldn't even... Yeah. Anyways, so we get the one to there. That's going to give us, because it requires one. That's it. So now I can go like this. Oh, I have to go out of this mode. Turn it on. Now it's off. Because of the red light. So no one's being... Back into this place now. Three water. Nine water. Four food. Six people. It's not too shabby. Three power. Like I said. We'd have to play string along. We have enough beds. If your people. Outreaches how many beds you have. People freak out real quick. So. Just letting you know. Now we're scourges. Oh, just doing what scourges stuff. Feel better already. Good. You know, we have a reliable supply of clean water. I hope you don't mind me asking for some more help, but our food supplies are running low. If we're gonna settle here, we'll need to get some crops established. All right. I'll start planting right away. Good Perfect. Deal. I'm at ninety percent. Son of a bitch. Apparently what I planted was never a good enough. So, like I said, if you have got your own thing going... Oh, which I don't have any more food to give the guy. So I haven't collected any. Which, when you're walking around and you meet other people you can get food from. You can get tomatoes and stuff and then set up tomatoes on the plants. Hey. Do you have a moment? I wanted to thank you for helping us out in Concord. If only we'd run into you sooner. You're welcome. Hey, man. What happened? Um, what happened to you guys? Long story short, we've been on the move since the attack on Quincy. There used to be more of us. My son, he's... He's gone. Oh, damn. What's his name, man? Your son. What was his name? Kyle. Kyle? My son's name was Kyle. I got no problem with that. I understand how you feel. I lost someone too. But you and I, we're still here, right? We're still kindred spirits? Go on. For them. This is literally the tip of the iceberg. Need something? Okay, guys. This is literally the tip of the iceberg. We're Preston. Ugh. I want to choke you out. So he'll he'll always pretend like he's like fixing some someone of the building, but this is pretty much how you run down. This is our weapons craft. Now that we're here, let's go. Find a nice spot of ground and plant whatever you've got. I'm gonna scrap that. Scrap. 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 Any weapons I don't like, I scrap them for parts. Fat Max. Don't care. The ones with the stars beside them are like specialty ones. Like, so, keep them. Machete. 
minigun. They weigh a lot. Like, it's 27 pounds to carry. No. The rocket launcher, 21 pounds to carry. Not likely. Come on. If you leave anything in a box, these people will pick it up and take it and use it. So, just a heads up. If you guys are like, where are all my weapons? I left some cool stuff here. Yeah. I always build a separate like hut for myself where I put all the things I want. And I usually do it so they can't get into it because they're sneaky. We did pick up a bunch of good stuff being out and about. I should have done more. Um, all right, so let's have a look. We're going to mod it up one of our clocks because I said we could when we got back to the base. On the left-hand side, you're going to see the damage and stuff. It goes equal, up, the value, the range, accuracy, weight. Yeah, so harden. Use the best. I brought that up, making it automatic. So now you need to get the pierce rounds, armor piercing. You have to have gun nut, hair trigger. So powerful is is where we want to go. Or caliber power, superior damage, better crit shot damage, and accuracy. So as you upgrade your gun nut, you'll get better pieces. Let's check our barrel. Again, we need gun nut. You know what? Let me have a look. See if I can get a couple. Maybe I can. Where's gun nut? Where you are, crazy gun nut. There. That's taken care of. All right. Now we can come back to the gun. Where'd it go? There it is. So you can get the better. Now we have better range. Check the grip. We got a comfy grip, which uh, improves the recoil and hit fire accuracy. And then you get the sharpshooter, which obviously what we want. Magazine. Oh, yeah. Better ammo. Mm. It doesn't tell you how many more it carries, but check this out. Look at that. You can get like a a drum on it, guys. We can get a drum. Yeah. 24 rounds. Sights. You can get a glow. Optics. Pretty sure that's it's getting a little obsessive. I always just put the little sights on it just for funs. Now, there's the compre uh, compressor. That's not too shabby. It's going to help with uh, accuracy and uh, recoil. Look at that suppressor. That's going to shut down things. So nobody's going to hear. You want to be silent? You want to be a ninja? You got a knife and one of these guns? All you're going to hear is. And then they have the different type. They're all depending on what kind you want. Right? They're both the exact same. They, it's all on your look. Lower rail. You can get like a light put on it. Some days are harder than or a laser. Flashlight. Hard days get easier. Flashlights aren't bad because I think it's pretty cool. So you can get a black one. Ooh, shiny. Or not shiny, just... And then the gray and the standard. Let's go all black. And you can increase the damage. That's because it's the mod, right? 90%. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Now, my big game rifle 
is is money. I don't even touch it. I don't touch the scope. I don't touch nothing on it. But you can go in and you can work on your armor. You can work on everything. So let's have a look. Where's my gun? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> like. It's not too shabby. That's going to be pretty cool. <clears throat> Especially when you're all like. Dun, 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 dun. Suck it. I need as many rounds as I can. I can get. We got to be careful about how, how we just waste. I don't want to blow any more of those rounds around. But I also have this guy. Just in case you want to get up close and pretty with one of these guys. But yeah. So I think that's it. That's what we got going. This was Fallout. There's so much of this game. It's so amazing. Let me know down in the comments, guys, if getting back into the wasteland is something that's piqued your interest. If it's something that's... There's other games, too. There's Fallout 3. There's Fallout New Vegas, which are absolutely amazing games in themselves, not just Fallout 4. Um, get a chance. Watch the show. You're not going to hate it. You're not going to wish you didn't watch it. It's a good show. It'll keep you gripped. The first episode and a half, you're like, this is a lot. I'm trying to take everything in. And then it just, the story starts to come together. Um, like always, guys, I appreciate everybody that joined us live here tonight on Friday. Everybody that joined in on the chat, I appreciate all of you guys. It's always a pleasure to chat and interact with you guys about all your favorite games and what's not. So, 